Hello and welcome. So I thought I'd keep it a little secret for what we were doing, which is why we're starting on my uh, desktop wallpaper. But you've seen the video name, you've seen the thumbnail, you know damn well what we're doing here today. Uh, this was just an excuse for me to show off my very cool wallpaper and plug uh, plug the artist uh, who who did did so. Uh, link in the description uh, for for that. But you guys know what we're doing. We're gonna play some Neopets. So I was a big Neopets kid as 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 a kid. Um, I played probably around 2003, 2004. That's about the time frame I think it would have been that I would have been the most active. Um, and, you know, I just found this website fascinating. Um, and even today, uh, every few months, you know, I just like start to wonder like, hey, what's up with that site? So I'll come, I'll check if I can still guess my password and get into my account uh, and just poke around. So I played as a child and that account is still active um well a active it's it's still it hasn't been shut down from unact this activity uh, i haven't logged in and probably since like 2005 I don't, I don't know whenever that account was last active um i said it so where you can't see when i was less active last active because that's a feature on this website um showing you know when people were last active i turned that off um uh so i don't know the password for that account so it's it's gone uh, don't have access to the email that it was under because it was under uh, my mother's email at the time, uh, which is <laughs> that's that's gone. Um, my mom's email from 2003. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, that, that shit's gone. Um, I did come back and play a little bit in uh, late high school, early college, uh, just because, you know, stressed and was like, oh, I wonder if that thing still exists. And it did. And I played a little bit of it. Uh, and then I stopped playing as I as I do. Um, and, you know, there's that. And I thought, hey, let's take a look at it in a video. When, when the hell not? Um, I'm sure this website has a ton of bad junk uh, related to it. And, I'm, you know, but let's just let's just take a look uh, for for old, old, old time sakes. For me, at the very least, for you guys, who who, who knows? Um, we will be uh, exploring this with some music uh, backed by uh, Leon Chang's uh, retreat, a chill Animal Crossing themed uh inspire animal crossing inspired that's the word i was looking for uh you know it's just a chill little album it's very good very cool uh they have more music on Bandcamp, i believe um so go check it out link in the description uh we're just gonna pop it on it's quiet for a little bit i might have to mess with my uh audio throughout the the video um so you know we'll just we'll see i'm not sure how it will translate into the actual uh me turning my audio up and down because it'll, it'll be a little it'll be a little strange uh, because of the way recordings work. And nope, we are not logging in. We are signing up. We're making a new account, baby. Um, so like I said, I've, I've had two accounts uh, for this website. Uh, my uh, my first one from childhood, which we will not be taking a look at uh, because it's very embarrassing. Uh, and also, I don't have the password for it. So, you know, it's not like we could get in anyway. So if I could get in, I could delete the embarrassing stuff. And then we could take a look at it. But, you know, without it, we're, we're not not looking at it i mean i could do some editing and you know hide the stuff that i'm embarrassed of uh but you know we'll just we'll just not not do that we'll just avoid it um so the website's a little slow uh and i'm not sure uh what the deal is with that um just give, i'll just give it a random birthday i mean my birthday is in may uh but that's not my, my my birthday is not Cinco de Mayo and I, I don't know I was like oh well I need to give my real year but not my real day it doesn't matter it's, it's Neopets um, email address my email address is uh, <laughs> hey if you ever need me you can email me at uh, b66 you know whatever urin, uh, dot com. you know that's that's where I like to hang out that's my personal uh, you know my web zone where I like to hang you know it's where I, I do all my things uh, and it, it's just you know what I like to do, and I'm not sure why nothing's happening here. It's loading for... Oh, okay, cool. We're we're at the good shit now. Now we get to create a Neopet. The Neopets. The entire reason you come to play these games, at least for me, was always, oh, the Neopets. We can come and uh, check them out. Uh, is it not loading? Can you not make... Okay, you can't make unis. So, Neopets. Uh, they're the entire crux. They're the entire thing. There's lots of Neopets. Um, I, some of them are pretty neat. Some of them are kind of boring. Um... I'm actually a big fan of the Nemo, uh, Uni, you know, whatever, uh, Nor Norbu. I'm going to go ahead and just go through all of these and say all their names so you can know how I'm saying them incorrectly, even though I can come over here, click this, and I, oh, I thought this was the thing that would give us information about how you say it, but no, this is like the, the flavor text where you can learn that Nor Norbu are fun-loving Neopets. Yeah, you know, whatever. Um, you know, Norbu fine, 
Mohawk, you know, oh, it's a Mohawk, and it's got a Mohawk, haha, you know, funny. Uh, Mirka, Mirka's nice. Um, Bori, uh, Kiri, that's the way I've always said it. Uh, Yusul, te te Teko, Tiko, it's probably Tiko, I, I don't know. Uh, Shor Shoryu, if it'll load. Uh, Shoryu is actually one of my big favorites. I've had a Shoryu on every single account. We'll probably be uh, making one today. We're going to make a few pets. Uh, Bruce, you got your Scorchios, you got your Garls. Or actually, it's probably growl. Growl. I don't know. I'm dumb. Uh, cow. It's a cow. Bloomer. Big Bloomer fan. They're, they're neat. Uh, Zwe Talk. I think that's how you pronounce that one. That's a newer one. Uh, so is uh, o Ogrin. O Odrin. It's probably Ogrin. O Ogrin. I don't know. This is a newer one, too. Uh, since, you know, when I started playing. Uh, Piofen? Piofen? I don't, I don't know. I've always said Piofen in my head, but it's probably Piofen. I'm not sure. Probably neither of those cougar. It's, it's just a tiger, uh, or, or maybe a cougar. I, I don't know. It, Cor Corbat. Corbats are cool. I like those. Uh, Eerie. It's just a griffin. Who cares? Uh, Quiggle, aka Thick Nemo. Uh, you got your Aishas. These guys are neat. Uh, they're very cool. Uh, Flotsam. Uh, and actually, just so we can we can do the joke. There's a Flotsam, and then where's the, where's the other one? Oh, is Jetsam limited? Oh, Jetsam might be limited. There's a, uh, another shark one called Jetsam. So they have Jetsam and Flotsam. Uh, Arca? Asara? It's probably... I've, I've always said... Uh, oh, it's it's a, like Akara. It might be Akara. I've always said Ar like Arsa in my head, but I'm like an idiot. Uh, Yerbal. Uh, these are also... N they're not newish anymore. They were newish circa when I started playing. Uh, Tus Tuscany? Uh, Elef Elefante? That one's easy. Chia? These guys are pretty good. Uh, Lenny? These guys are pretty good. Uh, Zafara? I liked these a lot when I first started playing. Loop? It's just, it's just a, a wolf. Uh, Terry? You got your Skeeth, you got your Buzz, you got your Ixie, you got your Waki, you got your Kachik. Uh, I was a big Kachik fan. Kachik was the first uh, Neopet I ever made. Uh, Gellert, you got your Jub Jubs. These guys are pretty good. Um, Vandergeier, I, I guess. These guys are, are new. I haven't seen these guys before. Um, uh, and you got your Mincies. They're good monkeys. Uh, we're going to be making a uh, Kachik today. Uh, we got your, You got your starting colors. You got your blue, which was the color I went with the first time. You got your red. You got your green. You got your yellow. We're going with green. What's your name? Your name is not Zach or Zachariah. That's that's neither of your names. You're going to be... Um... So, okay, so this is going to be difficult because Neopets have, have to have a unique name, much like... Much like the the usernames, because Neopets are, are unique and of themselves. So we could go ahead and be like, Cheekso69, <laughs> very nice, and I'm sure that's available. Maybe not, um, but, you know, we're, we're not going to do that to our little buddy. Why would we, um, uh, you know, we just got to come up with a good name. Like, we got we got 20 characters to work with here to name name this uh, name this boy, I guess. Uh, it's current. The, the, the Cheek's currently female. Like, I could be like, no, this Cheek's our boy, but... Cheek started as female, so yeah, cheek can be female. Cheeks, cheeks, van. Oh, it, it automatically puts an underscore instead of spaces. Mm. Uh, I mean, we could do it. In, you know, cheeks, cheeksy, cheeksy slamo. Maybe with two M's, slamo, cheeksy slamo. Sure, Cheeksy Slamo. This is Cheeksy Slamo the Kachik. Uh, she likes to live. Um, hmm. I'm I'm a big fan of the beach, uh, but I, I already know what's in the the, the future for this this uh, Kachik. So she likes the city. Um, she likes to make some. She likes to make friends. She's friendly. Uh, and she uh, she greets others by uh, smiling sweetly. Um, stats so there's there's fights in this game that you can do the fights i'm not too terribly interested in so we're just gonna go with uh, the default b and we've created cheeksy oh no is that a p oh son of a bitch i think that's a p that i meant slam uh, okay well fine that's that's the, oh there's a tutorial sure we'll do the tutorial because I'm, I'm not exactly oh um i wanted to drag it like it was a window but it's not actually a window um Oh, our password's hidden for her safety. Good. Otherwise, you guys would have seen it. Um, yeah, I guess Cheeksy Slamp. Because <laughs> I accidentally hit P instead of... Oh, sure. Show us the show us the tutorial. Can you open that? And, no, it won't open it in a new new thing, unfortunately. Start now. Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, Nilo's going to introduce us to Neopets. Uh, what's up with here? Oh, is this just going to be like, here's how you explore the website. This is... I mean, it's a, it's a game for babies, so they're just going to... Oh, okay. So Neocache. 
So we're, I'm just going to talk about this since we're right here. Uh, Neo points are a currency you earn in game through games or, you know, other things, playing the stock market because that exists in here, you know, whatever, uh, selling items to users. Uh, but Neo cash is something that you get by, it, you can earn a small amount in game through, there's some mini games that give you Neo cash, but Neo cash is basically their premium currency where you spend actual real money. Not important. We're not going to be doing that. Um, also, you'll see that pets can be dressed up and there's like accessories and stuff. I'm not too worried about that. In fact, I'll be complaining about that in a bit. Um, you know, you can feed your pets. You can take care of them. You can build a home, uh, which is something I thought would I originally thought I would find very interesting about Neo Pets. Um, but I found out about this game around the same time as I was introduced to Animal Crossing. Um, and Animal Crossing just beats the ever living hell out of you know the home seg home home decorating segment in this game in my opinion. So I wasn't too worried about it. Um, but yes, we have a. Uh, let me just refresh the page so we can we we can see our little welcome page. Uh, we need to activate our account. Uh, we got a message from Neopets. We can come in here and uh, we got our activation code. Yeah, let's go ahead and activate our account with completed our tutorial. How do I activate my account? Uh, I might have to actually read. Damn. Oh, we got to go to this page first. Okay. You know, sometimes I forget that websites, they'll email you and just automatically uh, activate your account for you. You don't have to go in and put in the code every single time. Today's surprise. Yes, uh, they there's things on Neopets that people refer to as dailies and they're just daily events where you can go and do them and you'll get a thing for doing them. Uh, and this is a, a daily event. You spin a thing. Once a day, and you, you get a thing for it. If we do it 25 days in a row, and also seven days in a row, we get prizes. Cool. Great. We won't be doing... We're not going to be playing it that much. Um, uh, that's not important. Well, claim a gift. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's claim our newbie path. We're, we're going to follow down the, the welcome page before we start worrying about uh, other things. Now, the page... Neopets does load a little slowly. Oh, okay, the newbie pack. So it gives us a book that we can read to uh, Cheeky Slamp, who is saying, why don't you just paint me gray if you're going to leave me like this? Oh, my friend, I hope... Okay, we'll talk about painting in a second. Um, but, but that's very sad. Cheek is not... Cheeky Slamp isn't very happy. Uh, we got a toy. We got food that we can feed Cheeky. Uh, a shield, so if we wanted to go fight. Um, ultra fashionable potato sack. So we could dress up Cheeky Slamp with that. Um, but I'm actually not a big fan of the clothes on Neopets, and I'll complain about that in a moment. Um, paint brushes. These are starter paint brushes. I believe they can't be traded. Uh oh, how do I activate these items? I do not have a flashes being allowed. Oh, this isn't the reason. Okay, the reason we can't interact with these is because this isn't our inventory. This is just showing us what we got in our newbie pack. And we can just go ahead and wait for our, uh, our page to load. Uh, yeah, so here we can interact with our items so I can come in here and be like, oh, yes, we can come in here and uh, we can. Oh, can we not use this? Oh, yeah, you got to go somewhere to use these. I, I totally forgot how this works. Uh, you know, what? I'm just going to go ahead and complain about clothes while we're at it. So uh, clothes were an addition to Neopets some point after I started playing. And um, they redesigned all of the Neopets to have different uh, um, art to fit the clothes, like I'm just gonna Google Neopets, and we'll just go for Kachik since we have a Kachik on page right now. Is Kachik with a K or it's with a C? I wasn't sure if it was a CK or not. Um, so they redesigned all the pets at some point um, to have this kind of pose. They used to be in little like uh, circles like this with different poses. Like this is what they looked like when I first started playing, I believe, and I guess this is what they look like when the website was created. There's a lot of really good things like that um, where they just. <laughs> You know, they look terrible because this website came into creation in like 1999, 2000, 2001. I'm not entirely sure. We could figure that out easily. It's not important. But, you know, Neopets used to have like this. And I actually quite like this like art style. It looks nice. Um, and, you know, when you uh, paint your pets, which we'll talk about in a moment, you know, they would change different colors. And some of them had different poses like this. Um, but at some point, they homogenized them all to be in these poses. So you could easily put clothes on them. So like, you know. When you drew clothes for a Kachik, it would you could slap them onto any of them, no problem. Which I'm not going to complain about that because it'd be ridiculous to like, oh, I should be able to put a clothes, you know, shirt on this Kachik and also this Kachik. That would be an unreasonable amount of work because there's a lot of pets, there's a lot of colors. Um, but I don't know, just the 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 new poses, I just never really gelled with them um, all that much. And I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. And you know, that's also just me, old man waving stick at the the clouds. There's just you know, old man complaining at clouds. There was an easier way to say that. Um, the maximum you should hold is 50. I'm not sure if that's, 
uh, advice or, you know, if that means 50s are, are max. Um, so, yes, yeah, just clothes were an, a neat addition, but I never really liked the changes to the um, the Neopets art to, uh, you know, factor it in. And also these things here are pet pets. And we'll just go ahead and equip one. So uh, Neopets is very funny in that your pets, they can get pets. So this is a pet pet. It's a pet for your pet. But on top of that, there's also pet pet pets, which are a pet for your pet pet, which is a pet for your pet. It's you know very funny, very you know, haha. You know, I'm being a little start, you know, a little a little uh, prickly here, but you know it's it's fun, it's cute. Uh, whenever I first found out about pet pets, I found them very very funny, like or or pet pet pets, excuse me. Um, let's talk about painting. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see, we'll, we'll explore. We'll go to explore, which should take us to the map of ne Neopia. Uh, I always said Neopia in my, my head, uh, and this is the first time I've ever had to pronounce it out loud, and ne Neopia is probably the way you say it. So, hey, there's an entire world here, and uh, this map, they've added more places to it, um, you know, since I started, well, st started playing, not that I, you know, currently play or anything anymore, um, but this map has stayed about the same, they've just added more junk to it uh, over time, uh, there's a moon, there's a space station, um, what we're going to is we're going to Neopia Central, uh, which is your basic ass, most bare bones land of them all. It's just, you know, a, a very generic city that we can come into. We're going to go straight to the Rainbow Pool uh, so we can explain what I found to be uh, the main draw of this website. So and you know what? I like I like the green better than the red or yellow, but we'll just go ahead and, and use one of our paintbrushes just like, you know, just so we can paint one paint a pet right off the bat even though i actually much greater greater prefer the uh the, the green kachik we will be painting a cheeky slamp uh again uh before we go on and oh we we need to get name our ditzy ditzy's a pretty good name um already so i'm not sure if we do need to go ahead and name uh ditzy i love no name my ditzy oh and ditzy we don't have to worry about having uh, a unique name because it's not you know a pet that's registered into the system we'll just call it ditzo you know it's fine the red isn't bad. The green was much better, in my my opinion. Um, uh, but we will be painting Cheeky Slamp again. Uh, I just wanted to come here. So this is kind of the crux of Neopets, at least for me. Um, you know, you get pets you like, and then you paint them colors you like. There are other means other than paint uh, to change their colors. Um, so we can come in here. And this is the rainbow pool. This is where you come to use your paintbrushes to change their colors. Um, all Neopet colors. So we can come in here. And once it loads, we can be like, oh, what, what kind of pet do you want to see? And we're going to go ahead and just look at Kachik, just because, you know, we have a Kachik on us. Um, and we can come in here, we can see all of the potential colors we could uh, paint our Kachik. So we could be like, oh, I want to paint a baby or a biscuit, you know, and there's, there's blue and there's like other colors like brown, um, red, blue, green, yellow are your default colors and everything else you have to like pay for and, uh, and Neo points, Neo points being the 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 free currency, not the, the one you pay for. And there's been a lot of like candy, I think is pretty new. I've never seen candy. I've never seen camouflage. You know, a lot of these have been around for years. Uh, you know, they just get, they add more and more as time goes on. Uh, I'm not sure how long this website will be around. Um, disco, I'm, I've always been a big fan of Disco Kachik. It looks nice. Uh, you know, they got old people. I'm not really sure about that one. Electric, electric's very cool, like electric. Uh, Event Tide is neat. Um, I think it's a neat looking uh, color, just, you know, nice thing fairy's a fun color you know fairy they just get they get wings and they become you know very fairy like it's fun um I, i'm gonna slow down for a moment because there's there's what i feel like there's two tiers of colors there's your or, okay excuse me there's three tiers of colors there's your default where it's just a color you know you got your blue you got your brown you got your reds uh and then i would say that there's a like special color like like where like if we look at biscuit where it's like oh you know it's it's not like just like it's not just brown, it's supposed to be like cookies, and then like we go to, to chocolate. Like, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's chocolate if we come down. Um, pastel, pastel's kind of like in that, where it's like, I, I like pastel a lot. Um, you know, they're, they're neat. We come down to Sketch. Sketch used to be cooler uh, before the homogenization. They looked a little bit more sketchy, more blueprinty uh, than they do currently. And and there's like camouflage, or it's like, oh, okay, you know, it's, it's not just a, a plain color, but it's like a, a texture. You know, it's texture. It, it, it's not a 3D model, so it's not actually texture. But you know what I mean. But then there's like, and I would also consider Disco in this kind of like mid-tier one. I'm not saying like one could be better than the other because I like uh, Disco a lot. But uh, uh, you know, Christmas kind of 
Christmas kind of varies from being like not that special to special. Or like you got things like desert or like the the old person one. Uh, you got your fairy. Uh, where is it? Uh, D- D- Darigan, Dargan. I've always said Dargan in my head, but it's probably like Dar Dar Daragon. If, if I had to guess, where it's like, oh, you know, it changes the pet. Like where it's, you know they get like more features, or it's not it's not just like a color change. I, I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. I always just felt like there were tears of like how cool they were now fire fire was one i thought was very very cool when i first started playing and i'm not a, as big a fan as it uh, of it now uh ghost is oh ghost is actually looking pretty good uh-oh i made plans for what we were going to to do some painting but i'm actually really enjoying ghost um and, you know we're, we're not going to take the time to look at all the pets because uh, there are a lot of them there are a lot of colors it's not really worth our time gray's a fun one because it's like oh it's gray it's just a color but whenever you paint your pets gray they get sad um Halloween's fun. Um, Invisible. Invisible's a funny joke because you can't see him anymore. You got Island. Jelly. Jelly's fun. Jelly's a unique one. Jelly can't be gotten. There's no jelly paintbrush. I believe you have to use a, a the lab ray, which we'll talk about later, um, which is a thing that randomly changes your pet uh, and can change its colors, its gender, its species, its battle stats, um, you know, whatever. Um, Maraquin uh, is a color I like because, you know, it makes them like fishy things. I'm not a big fan of the Kachik one just because that looks a little strange to me. Uh, I like Mutant Kachik with the brain. Um, it's, it's very classic. Uh, I like it a lot. And we don't have time to look at all of these. I just wanted to, to come through here and I wanted to show you guys Robot. Robot was initially what I wanted uh, when I made my first account, made my first Kachik. I wanted a Robot Kachik. Uh, I was like, this guy's so cool. Um, you know, thought, I thought it was neat. Uh, you know, it was very cool. I, you know, I, I like the Neopets a lot. Uh, is there more to look at in Pet Central? Uh, I think Pet Central is uh, Neopias. Oh, no, Pet Central is like the, the default page where you can come in. You can see like uh, what day it is. It's the it's year 21. Oh, man. So this this website was uh, 90, 98. No, that's yeah, 98. That's how math works. I have I have a minor in math. You know, I should be better at this. I mean, you know, you can come in here and you can see, you know, oh, I want some backgrounds, you know, whatever. Um. It's, it's whatever. You can come here. Oh, you can look at the news, see what's changed. Uh, 14th of June, that's tomorrow. Uh, as of this recording, this video will probably go up tomorrow. Uh, is Quiggle... Uh, if I bothered to edit it. It's a, it's a little late, as you can see. Um, Quiggle Day. And, you know, each pet has its own day. Uh, and, you know, on their own day, they like, oh, here's some new colors for them. Uh, I've never seen these two colors before. I'm actually, this one looks pretty dope. Uh, burlap Sack... Burl- is it just burlap burlap color you know i like that you know it's neat looking um but you know they come they they introduce like new clothes for your pets they uh you can go and get them trained for the battle thing for free um the spooky pet pets oh yeah i've added new things cool so you know you can come here to the news and see what's changed you know whatever um okay i was gonna talk about this later but user lookup of the week so this is what drove me nuts when i first started playing uh, because, like I said, um, oh, and this page doesn't scale to my larger um, uh, thing all that well. I imagine it's supposed to look something like that. Um, but unfortunately, I have a fucking huge monitor. Um, and that's what it ends up looking like. So this is what drove me nuts as a, as a child. Because um, you can come in here and actually, let's, now that you've seen, like, this is a, this is, this won a competition for, like, oh, this is a good looking thing. Uh, you can come in here, you can go to, is it edit profile or is it preference? Let me go to preferences first. Um, not preferences. Oh, while well, we're here though, so we can come in here. We can change like, oh, do we want everything to be flash, or we just want it to be pictures? No, let's leave it on flash because it's work. Well, actually, I'll change it to pictures. See if that works. No, we'll leave it on flash. Why not? I was like, maybe the pictures will make it load faster. Uh, but whatever. But we can come in here, and we can change our um, our background colors. So right now, this is basic, but we can come in here and change it to yellow. And yes, yellow is different than basic. Um, you know, it's 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 bad. Uh, but you know, you can come in here and you can change your, oh, gray day is a default one. I thought you had to unlock gray day. Cool. We, we might keep it as gray day. Gray day is actually the one I used on my, um, on my like actual accounts. Cause I, uh, I like it, you know, it's, it's a nice, you know, neutral color. Uh, I like the way it looks. I, uh, you know, these are just all default, uh, you know, site themes. The site themes are things you can unlock for doing other things like, um, you know, you might get them in like an event because they do like site wide events where it's like, uh oh, all these guys went to war with these other guys or uh oh, big bad guy showed up. We got to beat him, you know, like MMO ass like stuff. But we're going to use grade A because I'm well, no, we're not going to use grade A. We're not going to use grade A because I'm using grade A on my other account and I'll forget which one's which. Uh, maybe we'll use Rue Island, maybe Kiko Lake. Let's take let's just take a look at all of them. Why not? We're not going to take a look at the, the default colors because they're boring. 
Uh, there's something called Jumpstart on there, and I think Jumpstart... I think it's the company that owns Neopets because Neopets used to be like its own thing from what I understand. And then Nickelodeon bought it at some point. I think Jumpstart is currently the company that owns it. Um, you know, I'm not too worried about all. Oh, my God, that's awful. We're not using that one. Uh, maybe we should use that one because it's awful. But I think we'll use Mystery Island. Why not? You know, it's nice. It's green. Um, I mean, we could just use, you know, Neopets Green, but not important. I just wanted to, to customize this and not use Grade A because then I'd mix this up with my other account. Um, edit Profile, yeah. So it's Edit Profile. You can come in here. And, oh, it's not Edit Profile. Uh-oh, where do we do... Where do we do the HTML changes? So we can change our password here. We can put in our name for our, our user lookup. Uh, where do you change your user lookup? My profile. Hmm, site preferences. Where do you do this? Okay, so if we come here, we can see uh, what a default uh, user lookup. We, we went and looked at a fancy. This is what the default looks like, and it's looked like this for a long time. Um, obviously, you know, they've changed it throughout the course of, you know, its, its history. Um, at one point, the, in fact, like, when the website was first created, it had its, like, uh, this bar, instead of being on the top, was on the side, uh, and they moved it to the top at some point. And then, you know, it, it's a nice change. Uh, a lot of people, like, uh, through, like, little fits about it. It's like, no, it changes things, and, you know, whatever. But uh, customize? Customize a Neopet. Uh, we can go to the pound. Oh, yeah, so the pound. You can come to the pound, and you can, like, abandon your Neopets, like, because um, I think you can... Um, I think you can have five now. You used to be able to have um, four was the max, and then they added a fifth as a premium thing. But I think you can have five now as standard, and then, um, you know, premium, you can get six. I'm not sure. Maybe they got rid of the premium having an extra one. Uh, so yeah, you can come here and you can uh, adopt Neopets that were abandoned, which, you know, if you just decide you don't want one for whatever reason, you come to abandon, you drop it off here. Transfer, does this let you transfer between accounts? I can only assume. Um, this didn't always exist. At one point, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to transfer a pet, you had to abandon it and then just try to adopt it before anyone else did, which could be, um, you know, dangerous. Uh, we're not going to be doing any pet transfers though, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about, uh, that. In fact, uh, I have, I have a lot of Neo pet points on another account. We're just, we're going to make some, uh, friends here and be happy with that. Uh, but how do we get to the damn uh page is it on the control panel not i don't really remember how this goes because i used to be way into the um uh the the user lookup thing like that was the thing i cared the most about like making a nice user lookup um because you know i've always been interested oh this is where we uh uh customize our pet so we can come in here and we could uh put clothes on on a cheeky slamp uh so like you know Right now, I don't think we have any clothes. Like, we have some in our inventory, but you have to add it to your closet first. I'm not too worried about that. Like, you can get other things. Like, there's clothes. There's, like, foreground uh, decorations. There's background decorations. There's props and stuff. You know, it's it's neat. I'm just not too worried about it. Uh, pet pages. Pet pages were, like, Neopets and GeoCities. Uh, it was neat. You know, people people used to put midis of their favorite songs there. Oh, man, there's actually more things on our welcome page you could do. I just totally, like, blanked because I'll modify our, your user lookup. That's what I want. I think we were here earlier. Modify account info can i not do it yet for whatever reason because i remember it being here hmm because like do i need to make like some changes to it am i just not old enough on uh here no this hmm hmm i'm not sure why these guys are down here They're like little quiggle toys um, it's like a weird joke where Usuls, which is one of the pets, they have like a line of dolls and then they like made like, oh, here's, uh, here's, oh, geez, I'm gonna have to censor that. Oh, geez, I'm gonna have to censor that. Oh, dang, my, my stupid name's out there and my, my address, man, I hope I remember to edit that out, uh, or else that'll be bad. Um, interests, uh, my beat poetry, sure. Change how do I just want to know how to do our user lookup page because you know you'd come in here, uh, enter my zip code. Oh dang! Oh beans. Uh, well, it's not that important. I, this is definitely where you do it. I'm guessing you just have to make some changes in here uh, before it lets you like do it. I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. The idea is you could come in here and with you know HTML CSS you could rewrite this page. Like this page would become that one that we saw on the um 
you know, the, the user lookup of the week. Like we could rewrite our page into looking like this. And that drove me wild as a child. I was like, oh man, I want to do that. Cause you know, I always liked computers uh, and I thought they were cool. And oh, this person totally shilled um, to, to win. Um, and you know, it's, it might look like, oh, see, like it doesn't, it doesn't like repeat nicely, but you know, it's probably also supposed to meant to be viewed uh, in a smaller thing. Um, the reason I said they shelled is because this is like their new like mobile app. So, you know, they they picked like the thing that was like, oh, hey, we can advertise our thing by saying this one one. Um, and, and you know, no, no respect to you. Or no, oh, oh gee, I mean, no disrespect to you. Uh, Zlawerly, um, you know, a simple minimal lookup dedicated to Neopets new mobile game, you know, it, but this drove me wild because I was like, oh, shoot, this is super cool. I love I love this. And I was interested in computers and I <laughs> the account's been disabled. I wonder if they got, uh, you know, got a lot of like messages from winning this or whatever. Or, you know, if something happened, you know, you know, Neopets, it's wild. It's drama. Um, but, you know, it drove me wild. I had a lot of fun, uh, you know, rewriting like my own. Oh, my God. They have yeah six. pets. I don't know why that surprised me. I, I said that six pets might be the the upper limit um but it still surprised me uh, and this is a nice like looking page like i uh, can't read the text um so i'm not exactly sure how zoomed in they expect me to be but you know whatever um but you know i had fun rewriting my page and i was trying to win this desperately and, and just never could um but it's where i learned to do a lot of like uh like it was my first time coding uh, and led me to being interested in pursuing it as a, as a career. Um, uh, and this, this page looks a little bad, but it's on purpose because this is um, a reference to a, one of the games on Neopets, which we're going to go take a look at in a moment. Um, in which it's a game where you like try to fly a spaceship and it's like a race, but these pop-ups keep popping up. Uh, so it's, you know, it, it's based off of that using its assets. It's, it's neat. I actually kind of like that one. Um, even though like none of these pages are going to scale to my, my thing uh, nicely. In fact, I'm going to go a few pages back just so we can see the first winner because the first winner, um, it, the page isn't going to work anymore because, you know, it was a long time ago. But, you know, from the thing, you can kind of see what, um, you know, old version of the, the layout they warn you. Um, like, see, it doesn't it, the page doesn't work anymore uh, at all. Uh, I was hoping they would have an archived version of it, but unfortunately they don't. Um, yeah, the, before we take a look at games, let's let's keep let's get back to exploring. Um, and by that I mean we should probably finish our stupid um, welcome page. Explore five lands, feed our neo pet, create a neo home. I'm not too worried about creating a neo home. So we can come in here, we can claim 150 NC for free. Wow, that that should have cost me money, but I got it for free. What a deal! And now they've got me hooked on you know using the the neo cash um and it's man this shit's taking forever to process i wonder if they like need me to give them a credit card or something which i won't be doing in fact i do not really care all that much i'm just gonna refresh and if it's not okay we got our 150 nc so we can come in here and we can be like i want some clothing for my neo pet what kind of clothing can you give me for my neo pet wow you can give me these uh altador cup jerseys uh altador cups a sport that happens every year and uh neo pets you know we can come in here we have we have 150 nc so we get we can get something. I don't I don't care all that much. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna leave. So you can come in here. You can claim some free NC. Wow, uh, and come in here. There's also like games you can do play with your NC. Um, there's ways you can get it uh, throughout the thing. Uh, let's go to let's go to the haunted woods just because I don't know how many lands we're gonna look at. And, oh, I gotta click on it. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, I'm not sure how many lands we're gonna look, but I liked I like the haunted woods because like oh it's scary and you come in here and you can play games uh, based on the thing you can come get coloring pages to print out wow nice uh, there's like themed like events here um, oh I clicked on the castle of evil Thade, which uh, this was a game that I played a lot of and cheated at uh, because it's a game where you do uh, acronyms I believe because he's like e live Thade, but it's like it's evil and hate hate hated I think. Um, so you'd come here and it'd give you acronyms to kind of progress through a map, uh, and I'd use a website to cheat at them. Uh, but you know, you can come in here and you can go like, oh, the game graveyard where you can go and play games that have been retired. Uh, Haunted house. I think this is just like a uh, like choose your own adventure thing, if I recall correctly. We can come in here. We can look at the the hall. Oh, we got a we got an avatar for doing this. Um, we can look at all the Halloween avatars and oh, these are actually the old versions of the pets. So this is their old art. Uh, they haven't updated this page uh, to, to reflect the new th uh, the newer thing. So you can kind of kind of come in here and see like oh, you know, like they used to have a little bit more character to their poses and, and like a bit more dynamic. And I always enjoyed that a lot. Um, 
Unfortunately, I love Halloween and I love spooky things, but Halloween paintbrushes never really did it for me because a lot of them look dopey in ways that I don't particularly enjoy, which like I love dopey things, but none of them really like ping that like actual like, oh, I like this dopey. Um, I think Corbat's actually pretty good and I like this Mirka and a lot of them are like kind of try hard in a way I don't enjoy. Um, I do like the the Jub Jub Pumpkin and the Kiko Pumpkin. I think they look nice. They don't look as nice in the new art, unfortunately. Um, but we got an avatar for the Neo boards, and I'm going to distract myself a lot in this video. We're, I'm not sure how long. So this is probably going to end up being very, very long. Um, but the Neo boards, you know, they're uh, a forum you can use on Neopets if you're 13 or older. And on my first account, I lied and said I was a year older so I could get access to the Neo boards because I was I was a tricksy little child. Um, you can come in here and in the preferences, I believe, uh, assuming that this one isn't different Neopets. Uh, and hasn't changed and you know the last yeah okay so you can come in here and you can like you can pick an avatar for your thing and rather than like letting you upload a picture um all the pictures are through neopets and you have to unlock the avatars and this was kind of the thing that i had a lot of fun with uh, as a child um I, my goals were make a nice looking user lookup type make money to paint my pets the colors i want to paint them and also like oh i want to get cool um you know cool uh avatar so like you know there's a bunch of default avatars that we start off with um christmas rock lumpy cool sure um you can come here i can be the dark fairy neat um but we've unlocked ixie the the swamp which you can come in here and you can uh you can do your your neo html so you can make like you can set your like uh text and the thing to be like a color or whatever um and then you could like you, you know do your your signature so you'd be like you know Quote Grr Invader Zen. You know, you can come and do this stuff and you can use HTML to make it look nice. Um, and it's funny because when I uh, when I made my account in high school, I went and made I never got around to making a nice looking user lookup, even though I was like, oh I'm gonna do that one day. Um, but I think I came in here and messed with this because, you know, this one's very low effort and it was just like, I'm going to make something that looks nice, which is the entire reason why I started playing Neopets because I wanted to paint the pets and make them look nice. Um, I still have this open. Uh, we did our Neopets. We're going to explore our lands. We'll feed our Neopets here. We're, we're basically done with our welcome page. Oop, and we, that, was a, that was a Neopets like guide website that I opened up to kind of help us um, along our way. So we can come and we can look at uh, the other things here. And it's, oh, man, is that... Let's say what I think. Oh boy, that's that's unfortunate. Um, but you know, Ugh. you know, I I, I did say up front that Neopets probably has a bunch of uh, bunk shit in it. Uh, it's an old website. Um, uh, this is Fairyland. Fairyland at one point was destroyed. I believe when I came back playing in uh, high school, they had a plot because Fairyland used to be in the sky on clouds and whatever. And they had a plot like it was like the ruin of the fairies or something. And like as the plot progressed, like it hit the ground and now the Fairyland's like on the ground. Um, the Rainbow Fountain's cool. There's like a, a this is the, the Rainbow Fairy, I believe her name is. I don't remember. Uh, and she can paint your pet any color, but she doesn't let you do it any time. You have to, like, do a quest for her. And once you do the quest for her, she'll, like, let you paint your pet any color, which is neat. And the way I got two pets painted very nice colors on my other account, which we'll go to later. This is the Wheel of Excitement. I didn't realize it cost money, but we did it anyways. Uh, you can do it every so often, every two hours. It's, you know, one of those, like, daily-like things. And we land on the question mark. Wheel stuff spinning. Click to claim your prize. Uh, 290 Neo points. Wow, we we lost money. Nice. Um, unless it meant like 290, like reimbursed on top. And nope, we lost money on that because we had 4,000. Um, and I've just closed Neopets. So we we don't really need the email open up anymore. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and open up Neopets again. Um, thank you, Google. Take me back to Neopets. To wait to load very slowly. Um, we can go back to explore. Like you know, there's a lot of like lands we can look at. We're not gonna look at them all. Uh, let's just skip around to like some of the better ones. Croc Island, it's pirate themed. Kiko Lake is small. Uh, Cruel Door uh, is small unless it's changed. I want to take a look at Lutari Island. Um, Maraqua, you know, neat. Myrtle, let's... Or Meridel, excuse me. I always say Myrtle in my head, but it's Meridel. Um, Moltara, don't care. Mystery Island, whatever. And uh, we'll take a look at Mystery Island. Rue Island, small. Um, Shinku is... Shinku, I think, might be the newest land. No, I think Moltara might be the newest land. I'm not entirely sure. Terror Island, sure, we'll take a look. We're going to take a look at a lot of these. Um, Tyrania, okay, I said I didn't want to look at all of them, and then I opened damn near every single one of them. And we're just going to take a quick look. Like, uh, Croc Island, you know, ooh, you know, pirates, neat. Um, 
Uh, they use doubloons here instead of neopoint. So if I were to go to the st store, uh, is it on the wharf wharf? Is that where they put the stores? They redesigned this, uh, everything at some point. If we go to little nippers, this should be a pet pet store. Yeah, we can come in here and we can buy a pet pet and they are uh, priced in doubloons instead of, uh, you know, neopoint. So you can, uh, you have to buy, uh, d doubloons either through, does that just say Crocs? Does it say crap? Oh, it's, it's craps, like the, the dice game. So we can come in here and we can play craps, but it's spelled like croc because croc is a pet. And actually, we didn't actually look at all the pets because there are limited pets, like I said. Um, so let's, let's just look at all the other Neo pets. I know this video is a little disjointed, but if you clicked on a video of, of what I'm assuming is going to be two hours of me playing Neo pets, I, oh, and all the Neo pets, perfect. And they even have the old art. Um, you know, some of the art got updated over time. Um, in fact, I imagine a lot of it did. Um, but you know, this was what they looked like before they got homogenized. Um, so I'm glad we're looking at these because these are the ones that um, have imprinted themselves on me. And we've seen most of these. We didn't see Jetsum because he's he's a limited guy. Um, I say he, I mean, you know, it's a pet. It can be either. Because um, I don't believe they, on your account, you can say male, female, other, but uh, pets are male, female only, unfortunately. Um, Elefante, oh, that art's actually pretty old. And the new, and the uh, homogenized art, they stand up and they like they have their they tend to do this pose like if you look at um if you look at uh cheek Z slamp like they tend to do this pose where they have their arms kind of like one up one down um to you know kind of show it off uh, eerie we didn't oh yeah they're, they're just griffins they're whatever a lot of them are whatever oh yeah sure you look how cool cool they used to be with like looking to the side with one eye very anime uh rocked my world as a child the one that drove me nuts was poogle i love poogles a lot for some reason and i really really wanted a poogle uh and on my first account i did end up getting a poogle eventually um and i even got a special poog poogle that i i liked a lot in fact let's let's just look at it well, I'm, I'm gonna show you because we're just gonna look at poogles we look at poogles because they drove me wild as a child i was like man oh this poogle is an actual like dog breed sure um poogle let's neopets thank you um, Poogle Neopets fandom. Thank you. So Poogles, I, I thought were real cool. I thought they were very cute. Um, yeah, this is what they looked like when I first started playing with that. Oh, they don't have the thing. Oh, here we go. The Malevolent Sentient Poogle Plushie. So there are Poogle, or Poogle, there are plushy like Neopets. So they look like stuffed animals and they tend to be patchwork. Um, but there is an evil article. It's not exist yet. Are you kidding me, Neopets Wiki? What are you doing? You don't have, you don't have an N MSPP page? Huh unthinkable so the malevolent sentient poogle plushie this one this is the cool shit uh this is what they i believe the art looked like this uh when uh, i first started and they had they had neopets card game because of course they did um and i was like oh this guy's the coolest um but you can only get the malevolent sentient plushie poogle through the library and i had it on my first account i have it on my other account um this is what the normal poogle plushie looks like um, and this is the evil one, which I thought was so cool. Um, and I, I managed to get one and it's not on my old account. And I don't remember if I traded it away because I was like, I'm not going to play anymore. I'll give it to somebody cause these were valuable. And I think you can get an avatar for them. So I think I might've given it away or someone broke into my account. I don't remember. Um, and we're not going to take a look at it because it's not all that important, but this is what they look like now. And I just don't like the homogenized art as that much. I'm just trying not to complain about it uh, as much as I, I have. Uh, Grundo. These are, um, so Poogle are limited pets in which they um, from time to time release them. So like on Poogle Day, they'll be like hey, there's a thousand Poogles and the create a pet you can go get or whatever. Um, and you can also do like other things. Like there's morphing potions that'll change your pet's uh, species. Uh, the lab can change species. You know, etc, etc. But um, Grundos are restricted. They'll never be create a pet. Uh, you have to do something alter alternative means to get them. And, it, and they're actually always available. You just can't get them through the standard thing. Koi. Oh, Koi's are really funny because they, they, their old art, um, Koi, Neopet, their old art was hilarious. Um, you know, they eventually made them look more like, you know, oh, like, like a Koi fish. Sure, cool. Uh, but this is what they looked like when I first started flying. And at some point they got re redesigned. Um, you know, this is what they looked like at first. Like, like they, they got a serious glow up. Um, Grundos are cool. Croc, um, we didn't see these. These are also a restricted pet. Uh, and the reason I thought about these, because we're on Croc Island, Crocs are an interesting pet. So, you know, you can do morphing potions. There's magical plushies that if you play, your pet plays with them, it changes them into that. Uh, but the default or, or the intended way to get a Croc is to find a Croc um, pet pet. Uh, and then once you give your Croc pet pet a 
unique name that isn't taken by any other Neopet. You click on that spot. Oh, no, that's the Smuggler's Cave. Do they change where you go? Because it's like if you click here, but I'm clipping on with the Smuggler's Oh, no, it's over here. This is it's this spot, I think. Is that this spot? This is, there's spots somewhere around here where you click on it, and it takes you into a cave filled with fungus. And if you have the Croc Pet Pet, and it eats the fungus, and its name works, it will become a full pet. Now, if you If its name works and you have a, a free slot. You know, cool. Uh, we can come in here and we can... Oh, this turns doubloons into uh, higher... You know, the smaller things, I think. Let's you exchange your doubloons for higher... Okay, so yeah, if we came in here with two fives, we could get a ten or whatever. Uh, I couldn't remember how this worked, but... Doubloons are uh, a thing that people like to sell to get money. Um, there's also code stones, which... Here, we'll just go ahead and skip to Mystery Island. Uh, code stone... Oh, flash HTML. Nice. Uh, code stones you use to in the training school. Um... And you pay for them to make your pet stronger in battle, because a lot of people like to play this for the the battle dome, which is just you know you come and do fights or whatever. Um, I never found it all that interesting. Um, Tombola, this is a this is a daily event. Oh, your where account isn't old enough for Tombola. That's probably also the reason why we can't do the um, the page. Uh, you know, rewriting our HTML. Not that I wrote anything for this, because I, I for a moment I was like, oh, I should write a quick user lookup page, uh, look nice. And I was like, no, that is way more effort than I want to put in this. Um, so we'll look at we'll look at dailies on our uh, on my other account. Um, where is, do they have um, Island Market? Oh, trading post. You can come here and you can trade island, uh, items. You know, this is kind of the the way you make money. You get items that people want, and then you sell them here. Is there not? Where's like? Is it the rock pool? No, I think the rock pool is where you buy pet pets. Um, I was looking for the thing that shows you like all the like island paint thingies. That's not that important. Uh, that's all I wanted to mention. I uh, will let that load. Kika Lake. Kika Lake's not that big. I'm not entirely sure why they have their own place, but you know, whatever. Um, Kika Lake, sure. Oh, Battle Dome Challenger. We can go fight evil Sloth clone in the Battle Dome. Cool. Uh, Sloth is kind of like the big bad of Neopets. Um, you know, it's whatever. So, Cruel Door. It's Neo Neopet. Ne Neopia's Moon. You know, stuff to do here. There's a Neocola machine. Do we need special coins for Neocola, or can I just... You push a button and... Oh, you need Neo Neocola tokens. I can't remember if this was just a thing you did and something bad happened. Oh, Lutari Island is still gone. So, at some point early on... Um, I don't remember when the Lutari was uh, brought into the game. Oh, Lutaris. Um, we didn't finish looking at all the Neopets, did we? Uh, Lutari. Lutari. This is a Lutari. It's in, like a cute little otter. Uh, Lutaris. Well, tell us when they were introduced. Nope, just going to give us flavor text. So let's go ahead and Google them real quick. Lutari. So Lutaris were introduced at some point, and they were a very, very special pet. Um, 2006. You had to play, like, they had, like, a mobile, like, game where you, like, paid, like, a subscription, or maybe it was a one-time buy, and you could play them on your phone circa 2006, and that unlocked Lutari Island, where you could make Lutaris and, you know, whatever, um... That's, that's about it and they have like a special paintbrush that only lutaris can it's like it's like the island paintbrush but specifically for lutaris um maraqua it's it's not it's under the sea cool neat you can come here and you can look at um you know Mar maraqua uh, kelp it's a restaurant or whatever jubble bubble um oh i didn't actually think about jubble bubble Ju jubble bubble's a game we'll probably play it's just a lot of like you know flash games we haven't even looked at the flash games maraqua attack the revenge bubbling pit oh bubbling pits where we can see the um the colors that we can paint them uh if we were to paint them maraqua maraquin they become like you know one of these and i always liked maraqua and it's a neat neat looking thing where you can make them all fishy um you know coral jub jub very good stingray corbat like it puffer fish mirka nice uh, you know, Sea Monkey, Mincy, cool. Uh, Turtle Shore U. I really like this one a lot, and I have one on my other account, which we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Um, oh, Rue Island got a big... Uh, it got a redesign since I've last looked at it. Because the big thing about Rue Island used to be you'd come here and there was dice -a and, uh, and you could, like, roll dice and, like, try and make money. It was just, like, you know, a gambling game. But then there's also, like, an evil... Dicearoo, and I'm not sure if it's on the map here, if it's hidden. You know, if the thing will load. Bloomer roll. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, Deadly Dice. Here it is. Yeah, Deadly Dice. So, so, um, uh, Dicearoo, you play against the king. It's just, you know, for low stakes money. Uh, and then 
dice or, or deadly dice you come and you play against like Count Rue or whatever, and it's for like stat increases and stuff on your Neopet. Um, Terra Island, you know, a holiday themed thing. Uh, they do an advent calendar every year um, when you can get stuff. Uh, they have, let's see, yeah, you can come here and do the advent calendar, uh, you know, during December. Uh, Merry Outfits, this should show us the Christmas color. And it's not holiday, it is straight up just Christmas because, uh, you know, Neopets, it's, it's from 1998, as we determined earlier. You know, they, they, you know, they weren't worried about junk like that. Oh, I say junk, like, I don't mean to, you, you, you know. I call stuff junk and garbage, and it's probably not good. I didn't really think about it that much. Um, oh, ice cream machines actually again. Yeah. I should write these down because there's ice cream machine. That's a fun game and jumble bubble. Sure. So yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff. We were just in Happy Island, uh, Happy Valley. You know, you come up here to the top. Um, there's the ice caves. We'll look at that in a second. There's the garage sale. There's a garage sale game. Um, so the garage sale has items every few minutes or so. There's oh, we haven't actually looked at any shops now. That I think about it. So let's back out and look at a shop. So this is like a shop that you know you just randomly gets stuff and uh, you know it's neat. It's cool. Uh, the super happy fun ice snow shop. Sure, we can come in here. We can buy um, grape chia pop. I think this is. I think these are actually okay. So. Either they've changed the way this thing works, or um, this isn't the item I think it is. Because chias have special colors that are based on, like, fruits and vegetables that you change them by feeding them these. And either they've made these less valuable than they used to be, or you need a magical one. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not too worried about it. But, you know, we can come in here. We can spend our things, buy these items, uh, you know, so we can feed our Neopet. Um, you know, I'm not too worried about it. But we, we have food for, for Cheeky Slamp. Uh, this is a lost desert. Uh, there's not a lot here, to be honest. Uh, we can come to, to Colson's Shrine, who used to be like the king of this place, but then I think they killed him in a plot. Uh, but we can't we, we can't actually look at it. Tyrania. I assume that's the way you would say that. Uh, you know, it's the prehistoric like jungle dinosaur place. Oh, I wonder if they still have the scary dinosaur thing. I hope they do, because that was always great. Um, oh, man, they redesigned this place at some point. Uh, Ugga Shrines? Oh, okay, shinies, uh, furniture, weapon, the wheel of mediocrity. So this is a wheel that takes like an hour to spin or whatever. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, Tyrone pet pets, the village, cave painting spots. Oh, we'll, we'll go to the village, sure. See what's in the village. Cause they've redesigned this since I was last here. Um, oh no, this is an old page. Nice, um, we're back out. Uh, I just wanted to see if we could find the plateau. Yeah, this is plateau is where shit is. We can come here, we can go, go to the giant omelet. Can we go to, can we grab some omelet? You can come here and grab some omelet. I think every day or whatever. You can come and grab a piece of omelet. Wow, we got a let's say what it is. No, we'd have to go to our inventory, but it looks like it has some chicato sauce on it. I think chicato uh yeah, chicato. Chicato is like a special like Neopets fruit. I don't think it's a real fruit. Uh maybe it is. Let's find out. Chicato. I think it's supposed to be like a tomato thing. Yeah, chio, chicato. It's Neopets. First thing that came up. Tasty veggie mixed with chocolate and tomato. It's a chocolate tomato, obviously. I played Neopets for years and never bothered to look up what a Chicago frickin' was. Um, but yeah, it's a Neopets thing. Uh, there's concerts, so you can come and view a concert. I think they do them every so often. And the concerts are just, like, pre-made, like, flash things, town hall. Le oh, we're definitely going to the Layer of the Beast. Oh, the Wheel of... Uh, oh, the Wheel of Mediocrity has bad stuff. Uh, and the Wheel of Mon Monotone is the, the one that takes, like, an hour to, to do. Um, that's what I was thinking of. Destructive Match 3. It's like their like puzzle Tetris game that people love. Um, I kind of wanted to see their um, the the Tyranian uh, art, but you know whatever. We're we're here to look. In fact, I'm gonna sorry, Leon. I'm gonna pause your music so we can go into the lair of the beast. Enter the cave. Climb the rope. Enter the darkness. Yes, I want to continue. Oh my god! Ah, it's the beast! Oh no! Oh no, and I, I have to resubmit the form. Oh, yeah, it's fun. Um, virtual pets, uh... You know, it's a space station. They had, like, a plot that I think introduced, like, uh, Dr. Sloth, the big bad guy. And he was brought uh, Grundos to, to Neopia. And he was mutating them into these big, like, strong guys to, like, 
fight and fight for him and you had to beat him or whatever um you come here and if you buy like a neopets plush or whatever they have codes or the cards you type in the code and you get a you get shit that's the way it works um no uh space weaponry don't care liver of doom liver of doom's great uh it's a daily i wonder if they'll let us do it yeah you, you pull the lever and most of the time bad things happen yeah it stole 100 neo points from us lever of doom basically only does bad things but it has a very small chance of giving you like an avatar so people come and just pull this lever that just kind of kicks their ass in the hopes that it gives them an avatar for the neo pets board um re the return of the return of dr soft that's funny um because like he had a plot where he you know happened and then they did the return and i guess they did it. the return of the return is this like uh, oh it's it's a game um no cool um you know there's some cool games here never ending boss battle typing terror typing terror uh it's neat uh were we, were we on the supply deck or the reception deck i assume we started on the reception no we start oh that doesn't say reception it says recreation i'm an idiot oh evil fuzzles from beyond the stars that was a i like that one i'm gonna write that down that i have a lot of games here i, I don't know how long this video is gonna be evil fuzzles grundos cafe spell or starve uh splatisloth sure or ball battle we'll go back to the supply deck do we see the supply deck uh, mm. I mean, I mean, we were here. I just, I, I guess this one's spider sure. Uh, and I didn't mean to come here, but I guess we'll do it while we're here. Adopt a Grundo. You can adopt a Grundo at any time by coming to here. You go into the Space Adoption Agency. You adopt a Grundo. Uh, Grundo name. Um, Gundy. Uh, Gun Gundy. I know it's a, it's a dumb random name um we have a boy cheek so we'll go with a male ground oh they put I I don't know if they've always put eyelashes on them or not or if I just normally had a boys because uh, I don't remember the eyelashes it's, it's kind of like you know it's, it's shitty but it's also kind of funny um oh i forgot they let you do more colors with grundo so you know we can do solar red galactic green i mean green you can't go wrong with a green alien stellar blue and actually that's a nice blue uh cosmic yellow not a big yellow fan uh meteoric purple i didn't realize they let you make purple ones uh that's neat planetoid brown we can make a white oh plasma white back so looks pretty nice um see purple's neat because these three you know are uh colors that aren't default to our normal pets we would have to get a paintbrush uh, and paint them uh so i kind of want to go with purple uh but i am actually a big fan of that blue that's nice blue yeah sure we'll we'll go ahead and do that gundy Bulldo, come on home yep and now we have two pets we have gundy Bulldo and uh cheeky slamp um we can swap who our active pet is uh, your active pet, you know, it's just kind of like, oh, this is the one that's walking around with me or whatever. You see it. Um, and also, like, there are random events. And if a random event affects your pet, it'll affect your active pet. I believe that's the way it works. Um, we only have... Oh, we have two food items. Uh, so we can we can feed both of our pets. We can be like, hey, here, Cheeky Slamp, have some mashed potatoes. And then they'll, like, come back and be like, wow, I love this. Or, you, yucky. Um, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's a game for babies. Um, this is taking a while. The site has been loading very, very slow. Um, they're bloated and they're still bloated. Um, I think bloated is the, 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 the fullest they can get. I'm not sure if there's another one. Um, we got this omelet that we got. Uh, the omelets, uh, are, you know, omelets are neat cause they're free and they, they're three serving, uh, food things. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do in Neopets. It's, it's a big website. Uh, there, there's that so i think we're at the point where like we, we didn't look at all the ex exploration areas you know there's a lot of things we can do we can go to the shops here before we start playing actually we're gonna start playing games. We're, we're gonna go to games I've, I've changed my mind we're doing games so games you know they're fun they're fun little things to do but you also when you play games you make money uh and making money you make you don't make a lot of money from games um but you can come here and you play and play a thing and you get you get neo points for doing it and uh, oh destructive match is right there um we're just gonna play a little bit of destructive match um it's a puzzle game people have always really liked destructive match um oh and i forgot to turn the music back on uh i suppose we'll leave it off since we're playing games uh i don't i don't remember how to play and we'll just we'll do classic sure so destructive match it's um you just click whenever there's multiple and you destroy them and you want to try and get big combos you know it's it's, it's a puzzle game you've, you've played plenty of these before 
Um, you know, they have special ones where it's like, oh, you, you can only destroy them if they're they're in groups of uh, two or more. Uh, you know, pr pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, the the kind of like pro goal uh, would be to like try and like do this in such a way that you like get a bunch of guys together. Um, so like like oh, I'm gonna avoid all my blues until the very end so I can combine them all and have a, like a big like combo or whatever. Uh, but you also don't want to mess up in such a way that like uh oh I've screwed myself and now I can't finish um, no matter what I do uh, like I I've probably put myself into a losing state here um, just because you know I'm just kind of I'm kind of clicking just hoping for the best um, yeah see like I, I don't think we're going to be to be winning any uh, awards with this one um, but you know I figured we would just have a try people really like destructo match see like up uh, like we lost. I mean, we didn't lose because we did complete the level. Uh, we destroyed enough blocks to continue on, but you know, hey, whatever. Um, let's end the game and we'll take our, our Neo points. Sure, we can send score. Um, you can only send the score for each game three times a day unless they've changed it. Oh, and this was their like bonus game. They pick a few games that are like bonus games every day and you get double points on it. Neat. Cool. Um, I just wanted to show off Destructo Match because it's kind of it's kind of a thing for Neo Pets where people like Destructo Match. And you know what? I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to treat myself. something I would normally cut out, but we're playing Neopets. We've been doing this for like an hour. Um, oh, there's two Hassy Bounces. I'm just going to play Hassy Bounce because that's the one I know. I just picked a bunch of games. That I was like, oh, I remember that game. I'm sure there's better games um, than the ones I remember because, you know, they keep making new ones. I'm sure like there's some new games that are like pretty good. And I'm pretty sure there's some old games uh, that I've forgotten about that are better than the ones that I picked. Um, but I just picked I just picked some that I was like, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, you can use arrow keys and spacebar. Uh, I should probably read the instructions for these games before I forget. So like, you know, these games, these games, you know, they're they're a little old, but they're fun. Does this not have any music? I should probably turn my music back on. So, oh, yippee, a flaming donut. So this one, you're trying to get donuts. The the the, the hassies, they want to get the donuts because they're hungry little guys. Oh, and you don't want to get the dung. Uh, Neopets loves loves the dung. You know, it's, it's a funny joke. The poop. Uh, and the goal of this game is you want to get the word the words hassy. Um, they add time. You also want to get the special donuts. You know, they add points or whatever. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty basic. You just move back and forth. You get the donuts. You try to get the word hassy uh, to increase your time, and I think it gives you a big bonus. We don't want to get that weird uh, fruit-looking thing because uh, we're here for donuts. We're not here for fruit. Oh, and I almost jumped straight into that what is either a weird-shaped dung or mud. Oh, we got the gold donut fruit. Um, by, oh, they're donut f fruit, so they are still fruit. They're still very healthy for you. Um, I mean... I mean, fruit, fruit's healthy for you. I mean, it's not, it's high in sugar, but you know, it's, it's not, it's not bad for you. They, they have the other things your body craves. Um, and oh God, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. You know, I, I like this game a lot as, oh, I can use your mouse. I didn't realize you could use your mouse on the keyboard. Uh, neat. Um, oh, and they're crying little babies cause they're just little babies. These, these hassies are, are pet pets, um, that you can equip. Uh, they're neat, you know, fun. Um, we could oh it was Mirka Chase did I spell Mirka wrong? Oh yeah, I put it's, it's Mirka. Mirka Chase is what, is what we should be looking for. Um we're not gonna be taking a look at all the pets, all the pet colors and all the pet uh pet pets or in all the pet pet pets. Because you know there's a lot of them. Um and you know they're not too terribly interesting. There's some fun looking ones. Um it's not like not like the Robo Ponds, which I found very interesting. Also, Robo Ponds, you know, we were able to pull up one page and see them all. Uh, so, Mirka Chase, I just wanted to show this off real quick. Oh, background color shirt green. I like green. Uh, oh, I must have pushed the wrong button. Oh, I hit end game instead of uh, start. So, Mirka Chase, it's it's Snake. There's a lot of just copycat games on Neopets. Uh, you don't want to hit the red ones. You hit the red ones, they're bad. You don't want to hit your tail, it's Snake. Uh, and eventually you'll start seeing like special colors. I don't know if they're randomly generated. I assume they're random whenever you get like the special like colors that um, are worth more points. Uh, you know, it's it's not important. We'll send our score, sure. Who who cares? Uh, we're not here to make money. Um, I just wanted to show off a lot of games that I remember enjoying. Um, a lot of them are um, ripoffs. Um, Snow Muncher is one I thought was pretty cool as a, as a child um, because I had never played Mr. Driller, and I think Mr. Driller is a game I think is very interesting. Um, I'm also very bad at it, um, but I always thought this game was super cool. It's like, oh man, this is actually a pretty interesting, you know, little, little like puzzle game. But you know, it's Mr. Driller. You know, the things fall; they'll, they'll hurt you if they fall on you. Uh, you have to watch your how much you eat uh, because you'll become very full. 
um, you want to shoot for uh, those like purple potion things will like um, like fix your like fullness. So I want to get that to you know relieve some pressure so we become less full. I want to get the coin or you know some kind of gem. Uh, uh, see, we, we got hurt, so we'll lose a life. Oh, no. Um, I think you can eat your way through the rocks. It probably just takes up a lot of your uh, your, your tummy meter. And we're, we're at the bottom. Like, let's see. Yeah, we can eat a rock. No problem. Um, yeah, you see, it's, it's, it's Mr. Driller. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's cute. Uh, we'll go ahead and go this way so we can, you know, get the potion. Like, see, like, I could, I could think more about this, but I'm not too worried about it. In fact, I'm like... Let's just let's just send the score now. Like like I, I enjoy Mr. Driller. I think it's cool. Um, but but you know I'm not very good at it, uh, and I'm not gonna sit here and try and like strategize out like oh what should I be doing? Doubloon disaster. I remember really enjoying this one as a wee child. Uh, I don't remember the controls. I should have looked at them. Uh, so doubloon disaster. You're a little pirate guy, and you're trying to you're trying to collect the doubloons. Is it W? Oh, it's it's um it's, it's arrow keys. So you're, you're just swimming away from mines, and you get closer to the mines, they go a little bit faster. Uh, you can use the arrow keys, uh, you know, forward, back, uh, up and down for forward and back, and then you use the left and right to kind of turn your ship. And you just want to go as long as you can, uh, you know, get the get the things, avoid the mines. I always really enjoyed this game. I thought it was fun. Um, I think it's also pretty easy to get a, a good score on and then, you know, um, get a lot of points. So the way uh, this works, by the way, there's like a conversion like ratio for like how like it converts your score into neo points. Um, but the neo points per play caps at a thousand uh, per play, and then you know you can score you can submit it three times a day, so you can get three thousand. Unless it's like a double game, then you can get like two thousand per play or whatever, something like that. Maybe it's three thousand per thing, and then you can get. I think it's maybe three thousand per per play is the highest, so you can get nine thousand per game i'm not sure they've probably changed that over the the years I'm, i don't remember uh fairy bubbles it's probably not even worth taking a look at it's just i wanted to show off some games that i like enjoyed as a child but a lot of them are like a lot of them are ripoffs of other things like i'm sure there's some unique games in here um oh we can see the top scores people who did the best for however recent it is um like it's probably not really worth our time to come and look at a lot of these um, but I just wanted to show them off because, you know, like I said, I played a lot of Neopets as a kid, uh, you know, fond memories, even if it's loading very, very slowly currently. Um, and, you know, it's not showing. Okay, so here, this is Fairy Bubbles. It's, it's Bubble Bobble. Um, it's Bubble Bobble. It gives you, like, you know, a little targeting reticle. Uh, so it's not, it's not that difficult. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to turn off the targeting. I think as you get into higher levels, it turns off the targeting reticle and it just starts you off with the targeting reticle. Um, I should probably be strategically thinking this out because like, you know, when you, whenever you destroy a, a, um, a bubble, it will like take any like attached to it. So if I like managed, to, if I had managed to, uh, cram, uh, that, uh, you know, the, the yellow into the thing, in such a way it would have taken out all the blues as well like here there we go it destroys the blue like cool um you know you get it i'm sure if we get space like yeah we don't have it introduces a new color uh it introduces a new color we lost our, our targeting reticle and it's just you know go as far as you can uh you know score some points make some money send score sure whatever um you know 48 neo points it's, it's not even worth the time it takes to to submit the score really it's like nothing uh on my other account uh, I had like 2 million Neo points just from whatever bullshit I used to do. Um, I'm not even sure if that game uh, still exists because there was a, there was a way um, to, to, that I always thought to easily score money. Like a lot of people like um, swear up and down the best way to score money um, was to play um, like go and like restock, um, which like you go into stores that have like um, items that are worth a lot of money and you would like sit there and you'd refresh whenever it, uh, you'd refresh the page whenever it like reloads its items and they reload at certain times so it wasn't just like just sitting around all day but it basically was um and then buying items um as quick as you can before other people do it or before people who use uh items you know they're they're like you know bots that will like go and like auto buy things for you um you know that's obviously against the rules um, but you were playing against people who are breaking the rules and stuff and you were just trying to be very quick and buy items and people are like that's the best way to make money um we don't want red because i think that 
loses our score or maybe it lowers our speed. I'm not entirely sure. This is Ice Cream Machine. I always really liked this game. I thought it was fun. Uh, you just move the mouse. You dodge, you know, the, the Chia moves with your mouse. You go through levels, you know, it does different flavors of ice cream. You know, it's, it's fun. Uh, it's probably one of my more favorite games. I don't remember if we want to hit that or not. Oh, Strawberry Bomb, it clears out the thing. I think the green uh, low or raises our speed. Uh, that blue one I just got made us bigger. So our hitbox is bigger. I'm not sure if our score reflects like, oh, you're bigger or anything like. So it's harder to play. Uh, the purple one makes us smaller. Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I'm just playing this and just trying to remember how it works. Uh, you know, clicking doesn't do anything. I could right click and, you know, right clicking, you know, Oh, it ends the game immediately because I right clicked. That's unfortunate, um, but you know, whatever. I like Ice Cream Machine. It's fun. Uh, now we'll see Jubble Bubble um, while this tries to determine our success. I think Jubble Bubble is like, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the game, but the one where like the bubbles like float around at the top and you fire like a grappling hook up to split the bubbles in half. I think that's what Jubble Bubble is. Uh, God, what is the name of that game? I cannot remember. This doesn't actually look like it's loading. Score that Tyrene and Scorchio is just hitting that bongo, but nothing, nothing's happening much. Oh, it, it loaded. Okay, I hit refresh and it loaded. Oh, oh no, the refresh kicked in. Damn, it took. Okay. Oh no, this isn't what I thought it was. I, uh, you, you fire the bubbles up, and you want to try and catch the the jubble, the 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 jub jubs as they fall in. So you're 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 jubbling the bubbles. You're bubbling the jubbles. That's that's what you're doing. This wasn't what I thought it was. Um, but you know, it's, it's a fine game. You got to shoot the bubble up to kind of meet them. Um, yeah, whatever. You know, it's, it's fine. You know, <laughs> I feel like I'm probably like not really selling this at the moment, but you know, it's it's Neopets. I'm not here to be like, everyone should play Neopets. Come and be my Neo Neo friend. Um, you know, we're we're just here to have, to to relive some uh, elementary school memories uh, for me. I don't remember how to play this game. I don't remember if we need to shoot the uh, the mines. The evil fuzzles beyond the stars. I like this game a lot. Uh, you know, it's a fun little just shooter. Try not to get got by the things. You you have little things that you can use in there. Uh, I think they're items you pick up at like little. Um, I, th I think they're uh, you either earn them through play, or there's like little like. Uh, checkpoints where you can like spend points. Yeah, yeah, here we go. You hit a checkpoint, you know, it, it tallies up our score. We can come in here, we can buy, like, oh, I want more uh, health, you know, I want some bombs or whatever, but you know, it's whatever. And oh, yeah, you start getting the, the different color ones that need to be shot multiple times. Um, so, like, we have like a combo going because I'm like not like shooting willy nilly. Um, but if I start like just clicking willy nilly, like if I shoot off there, we'll lose our combo. Um, and I just hit that bomb, and I think that took away from our. our hull score because I think you have like a, a hull and then maybe there's like shields I don't remember not important you know it's it's fine you know it's a serviceable like you know light light shooter light rail shooter you know it's fine I, I, I enjoyed a lot as a child um, but you know things were easier as a child now this game I remember being a bit more involved this is Hannah in the pirate caves Hannah was like a like one of their like heroic characters oh is this game not work anymore Oh, damn, the Shockwave player. Mm. Okay, well, if, if Hannah and the Pirate Caves isn't working, because they made a sequel at some point, uh, like, very quickly on, because there was Hannah and the Pirate Caves, and they did, like, Hannah and the Ice Caves. Uh, Hannah's Adventures, Cruel Door Caves. I, I mean, we'll just pop open a few of these and see if any of them work, because uh, they made Hannah and the Ice Caves very soon after, I believe. Nope, that doesn't work. Hannah and the Cruel Door Caves. Does this work? Oh, it tells you down here what the uh, the score is and difficulty. That's nice. Um, it does seem like three stole the max. I think there was like a premium Neopet service where you could send more a day. In fact, oh yeah, premium. Like yeah, we can we can take a look at what you get for premium. Uh, so Hannah and the Cruel Door Caves. I or well the caves. They're they're all. I don't want to say they're all the same. Oh, users not have any levels. I just want to play the. Oh, I have to click on the levels. So. They're, they're, they're not all the same, you know, obviously they, they have like different mechanics, but you know, it's just like a, a cool little uh, platformer. Oh, this one has a jetpack in it. Cool. And you got to go up against your oxygen. So they used to be like, just like neat little things where it's like, oh, you know, you explore through the caves and you want to find the items. I always thought they were very cool. We got to crawl. I guess you just a little crouch walk or whatever through. Um, you know, I always thought they were neat. They had level editors so you can make your own levels. Maybe that, that wasn't in the other ones. Um, I tend to, or I seem to remember that. I would confirm, uh, but it's not that important. You know, I just wanted to show you. Is there not a score for this one? Like, 
Oh, are we not make money for this one? Uh, it's not important. You know, they have some games that are fun like this. You know, Hannah and the Wardrobe Adventure. Oh, you believe you me. I'm going to check out Hannah and the Wardrobe Adventure. Uh, see what's up with this. I think there's like also like a fashion game where you dress up Neopets and like you can just submit it for the score very easily. There's a lot of games where people like there'll be guides where people are like, oh, here are the games that you can play very easily and make points quickly. Um, but, you know, that's not why we're here. We're here to we're to have a good time and see what's up with Hannah's wardrobe adventure, because, of course, we want to know uh, game mode play for Neo points or we can dress her up and print out an image. Why do we have to choose? Um, oh, we're losing our bonus. Oh, did it tell us, like, oh, we needed to dress her for a certain occasion? So, like, oh, we didn't dress her for the thing. So, okay, so there's a mode where you dress her up for, like, oh, she wants to go exploring here, and you dress her up. That's actually, that's a f fun idea for a game, I'm, you know, like, game mode. Like, uh, it's like, oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to read this, and I don't know enough about, like, Neopets anymore to know, like, what we should dress her up as. That's a neat idea for a game. Like, oh, here's, like, a doll dress-up game. Uh, but also it has like a, a, an actual game built in where you need to dress her up for a thing. I'm sure that's been a thing in doll dress up games forever. Um, but that's the first time I heard about it. So, hey, that's an interesting idea. Now, I want to take a look at these two games, uh, the potato counter games, uh, just, just to show off because it's funny. Like potato counter, how many potatoes? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to count them all. I'm just going to guess. But, you know, you, you, you guess. You, oh, six, oh, damn, I was actually pretty close. Um, but, um, you know, you count the potatoes. You tell them how many potatoes there are, and you get points. Potato counter. Cool. Um, but then there's extreme potato counter. Uh, and I just, I, I thought it was really funny that there was always, you know, you know, there's potato counter. And then an extreme potato counter. And, like, the thing is just this, like, I think that's supposed to be a walkie. Like, an extreme walkie knocking the kachik out of the way. So, like, uh, you know, the potatoes fly by and you got to count them. Um, you know. It's still counting potatoes. It's just action counting potatoes. Uh, and... Yeah, woo. I can count. Nice. Um, so, you know, it, it's fun. Whatever. Um, but now we're going to look at Cast Basher, which if this is the game I think... Oh, Cast Basher is actually right there. If this is the game I think it is, this was always my favorite game on Neopets because uh, it was an easy way to make a lot of money. Um, like, this was very easy to max up a score for. Um, and it's also just a fun idea. So, Cast was a bad guy. Um, oh, yeah, you have to, like unlock the um better bats so like you have to hit like a certain distance with the the cat the cast plush once you hit a certain distance you would unlock um you know better better bats so if i restart game did we unlock stick uh we got to hit 175 so the idea was about about the game is you want to wait for the the wind to be very very strong and then you want to whack the the cast all at the perfect moment um so, you know, it's kind of like RNG because you just kind of have to wait here for the win to be, you know, it's it's, it's kind of just like a golf game, um, sort of. Um, you have to wait for the win, which is a little annoying. And then you got to hit the thing at the perfect time. Uh, and I think there's even, uh, if, I, if I recall correctly, you can do a thing whenever the, the cast doll's in the air where you can, like, spread its wings or make it, like, dive bomb, uh, which you can use to, like, make it go farther. Um, and then you unlock further and further, like... The thing, you know, from bread you go to stack and bat, which hit it farther so you can, like, mark the score or get the highest score uh, easier. So, you know, I'm sure there's other good games on here, uh, but I just want to look at some that I remembered. In fact, you know, okay, let's, let's look at, um, let's get popular. See if there's, like, something new there that I don't recognize that might be fun. Um, yeah, Cast Basher, uh, Termac Roll, it's just an infinite runner. Uh, Parkeet Slots, I, you know, they're just slots, you know, Fashion Fever. I think there's probably another dress-up game. Uh, Splat of Sloth. This is just a timing-based game. You know, it's it's whatever. We'll click on Fashion Fever. Sure. Let's see what what's up with Fashion Fever. T oh, Crisis Courier. I think this was also like uh, one uh, that was easy to make points uh, off of. Uh, or either that, or I just enjoyed it. I don't remember. Is it not loading Fashion Fever? Or is it just loading slowly? I can't tell. It's loading now for sure. I can see it loading. So Fashion Fever. What's up with Fashion Fever? I think it's just another doll dress-up game, probably, with a similar thing. And I kind of want to back out now, because this is taking so long to load, um, that I'm not really all that interested. I'm not so interested in it that I would sit through this loading screen, but I've committed to it. So now we're going to wait for the damn thing to load. Yeah, show me the scary eyes. Yep, start game. Um, yeah, it's just a dress-up. Oh, and it, oh, it's one of those dress-ups. I thought, you know, put, the, put a pirate hat on, sure. You know. And then I end the game, and then I send the send send card, send score. And when you get points for it, you know, easy points, whatever. 
Um, so yeah, the games, you know, they got neat games, whatever. Uh, let's take a look at Neopets Premium. This was a, before they had Neocash, they had Neopets Premium. Uh, so you could come in here and, uh, you know, pay monthly, uh, you know, to get, uh, adopt a six Neopet. You get special scratch cards, no ads, but you know, it's 2019. There's other ways to get no ads. You know, double Neo points when you play games. Um, there's a shop wizard, which lets you search for items and uh, user shops. Uh, super shop wizard, like, searches better or whatever. I, I don't know how. You get free money. Custom looks in our journal. Don't know what that means. 30... Ca ca get, uh, change your Neopet species once a year. Cool. Um, gallery. There's, like... So if we go back... We go to our inventory. You can get to your inventory by clicking on your Neo points thing. I've probably done this a few times. So gallery is a thing where you can come in here and you can just display items like, oh, I, we haven't created the gallery yet. Um, you, know, you can just come in here and you can display items, whatever. It's it's neat. Um, if you're like, oh, I've collected all of these items. Look at them. Or if you're like, I'm very rich and look at all the things I'm hoarding. Um, the revolution has not come to Neopets yet, unfortunately. Um, shop. Oh, we have to actually open a shop. Uh, so like I think you have to spend money to make shop and we're we're not actually not old enough to make a shop So you can open a shop and sell items here um, The thing with user shops is you can sell you can sell an item for anywhere from like 1 to 900 999 999 yeah, 999,999 you know one short of a million neo points so if you're gonna do anything with neo points dealing it over the millions instead of uh, going to you know a user shop you have to go to the trading post so let's just um, how do I get to the, the newest I'm gonna browse lots I just want to see the newest I don't I don't care is it trading post main no it's trading post main where you can see like what I have yeah I just want to see the newest 20 so you can come in here and like you can sell these like you're like oh you can put what you want like this person wants 500 neo points for all these muffins and muffins I think are attack items in the thing unless they've changed I think they're both food and attack items um, so like people say what they want for you know whatever you come in here and you can put valuable things that are over a million neo points be like well I want this and here are the things I want um, you can come to the auctions you can auction them off um, I never really messed with the auctions I don't think people really care too much about auctions um, so that's really all I wanted to do with this I'm actually gonna delete I have just little notes so I wouldn't forget um, so before we actually swap over to my other account um, because uh, we, we still have some some more heat in this this very hot video like I'm sure you guys have been on the edges of your fucking seats watching this Neopets content um, we're gonna so we can take a look at like some dailies or whatever and see so you guys see my account that I wasted time in high school or in late high school and then um you know, early college, whenever it was just like, it was a very stress. So I was just like, oh, just play Neopets. Um, oh, this is customized. I wanted to create a Neopet, uh, create a Neopet. I suppose we could go to the pound actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the pound and we're gonna adopt one. I want a Shoryu because um, like I said at the uh, beginning, I like Shoryus. I've had one on both of my accounts. Um, uh, so let's just go to adopt and refresh until we can get a Shoryu instead of creating one uh, into the world uh, and just, you know, leaving it and have you more Neopets. What do you mean no Neopets were found? Of course there's going to be Neopets found. Maybe I just refreshed. If I hit F5, will it load new ones? Or is it just going to show me the same guys? Oh, oh I was about to say, am I going to have enough Neo points? I was looking at my Neo cache. Um, oh, it's a Skeeth. Uh, I want to shore you. Uh, shore you? Shore you. Shore, shore. I keep saying shore Ryu, but it's like show Ryu. Show Ryu. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll take to, to get one of these guys. Um... That's a Scorchio. There, there's several flavors of dragon. Oh, we didn't. I didn't show you guys the Drake. Oh, that's fine. So, uh, in the limited Neopets, there's um, there's limited Neopets, which you know I mentioned. You know they release them from time to time, and then there's restricted. There's three restricted Neopets, uh, unless they've changed the classifications or I don't remember how they work. Uh, and you know I mentioned about Crocs. I mentioned about Grundos how to get them, but there's also Drakes. So there's three different dragon types of Neopets. There's the Scorchios, which are the the kind of like round tummy guys. There's the the Scorchia, or the Shoryu, which is what we're looking for, the, the guys with the spike coming off their head. Um, uh, and then there's Drakes, and Drakes are more traditionally, like, dr draconic, like, they look more like, you know, dragons or whatever. Um, but Drakes are a restricted pet. You can't get them, and I don't believe they ever release them out into the, the wild. Um, like, you can't just go, they'll never be like, it's Drake Day, go make one and create a Neopet. Um, 
the way you get them, you know, there's morphing potions or magical plushies like I mentioned, but the intended way to get one is you can find Drake eggs and the Meridel, which is like the medieval like land. Their food shop will sell the dragon eggs, which you can go and you buy a dragon egg and then there's a way to hatch it. I don't remember. I think there's like a nest you take it to and it hatches. Um, and you know, it's, it's neat. Um, I really liked Drake's as a kid, you know, very, I was a, dra I was a dragon kid. I, I thought dragons were neat. Um, a lot of Scorchios in here, not a lot of sure use. Um, but you know, like I, I thought it was neat and I never actually ended up getting a Drake as a child just cause they were very expensive to get. They're prohibitively expensive, uh, for, for kid me to get. And then when I could finally afford them, uh, when I came back in high school, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, like they're cute. They're cute little dragons. Um, you know, they're whatever. And we're not finding any scorch or any shore use. So like, uh, you can come in here and you can search by name. So if you knew the name of the pet you wanted to get, you can search it from here. Cause that used to be the way, like if you wanted to transfer account, you would abandon the pet and then adopt it with, you know, searching by the name, just hope you can get it first. Anyone else grabs it, but you know, now you can transfer it between accounts and we're not seeing any. I thought we could be cool and like adopt one. Uh, but unfortunately we are not seeing any shore use. And you know what? I've committed to this. I'm going to just sit here and refresh until I find one. Oh, hey, that, oh. <clears throat> I leaned back, picked up my water, uh, <coughs> so I could take a drink, um, and then it appeared. Uh, so we're going to be adopting Smelly Bottom 2. Mwah, great name. Couldn't have named him better myself. Smelly Bottom, welcome to the crew. Uh, oh, no, Smelly Bottom's dying. We gotta feed this boy. Uh, how are we gonna feed this boy? Um... Uh, he's still happy though. He's dying, but he's happy. Um, Neopet's happiness tends to go down very slowly, uh, as opposed to their, um, their, 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 their hunger. They tend to, to, to die pretty quick. Neopets will never actually die. I should just throw that out there. Oh, money tree. That's a daily. You can come here and there's like free items at the money tree that people donate or whatever. Um, Neolodge is kind of the best way. In fact, well, uh, I can't like open a new page um neolodge is probably the best way to keep your pets fed um and cared for um there is the uh the soup kitchen which is run by the soup fairy so if you have less than 3,000 neo points i think it used to be 2,000 i think they upped it at some point you can come here and you can feed your pets soup for free so if you you know if you're a kid and you don't have a lot of money um there's free food and you can keep your pets fed and you don't have to worry about you know oh no my pet's not fed they're sad oh no um but you know pro tip the best way to keep your pets fed is going to the Neo Lodge because it's, um, it do doesn't cost that much money. Um, you can just throw them in here for, you know, a certain amount. Like, you can go, oh, the cockroach, because, you know, which one you actually put them in doesn't matter all that much. Um, so, smelly bottom, and then you, like, put them in. You'd be like, oh, I want to put them in there for one night, and they'll, like, they'll keep them fed or, or you know, whatever. Um, I'm actually not too worried about this because I'm afraid if you put them in the Neo Lodge, I think it stops you from doing some other things with them i'm actually gonna go to neo home just so we can we can check it off our thing and see what happens um we'll see if we can uh make a smelly bottom happy by feeding him uh two-thirds of an omelet nope he went from dying to starving and now we'll feed him the last third is this gonna up him from starving to no no he's still he's still famished he's still very very hungry boy um we gotta feed this boy before we move on um yeah, give me a Neo Home. Sure, I don't, I don't care. I just want to just mark it off the thing. Um, shops. How do I? I don't know how to make a house. They've changed the system. Uh, the system used to be very bare bones. Neo Point shops. How do I just? I just want to create a superstore. Find furniture. Do I need? How do I make a home? I just want to make a home to mark it off the thing and see if anything happens. Uh, Neo Home shops. Classic Neo. Oh, you can still look. At the oh, create it. I mean, yeah, I just overlooked it. Yes, create. Oh, we get to pick where it, where it is. Uh, well, we're obviously going to put it in the haunted woods because I think spooky stuff is cool, but they have way more options. I think there only used to be like three options for things. Uh, the houses are very like fancy now. Um, Bright Vale, Maraqua, Derek Gan Sentinel, if you're cool. Um, Maraqua, pretty cool. Shinku, uh, Altador, you know, whatever. We're. we're Oh, you can build them on, um, you know, Lutari Island. That's interesting since it's like, you know, 
blocked off. But haunted woods, because I like I like the spooky things. Yep, we're gonna create a neo home just to take it off our thing. Up, uh, yep, and nothing special happens when you do it. So cool. We can go to our neo home. If we had a uh, uh, decorations, we could throw things uh, in our home. Oh, it gives us some default things, so I can be like, I want to put a bed there outside, and this is just outside our neo home. Um, they've actually made this a little better since. Or I, I don't remember this being like this. Oh, so that's, uh, is this inside? We going like we can decorate our outside. Now we're decorating our inside. Uh, you know, it's, it's neat. You know, it's something fun. It's it's a mostly free website, basically. You know, uh, you know, obviously it's gotten worse over the years. Uh, just you know, it doesn't load as well. And I have pretty good internet, so it it just doesn't load as well. You know, they've kind of bought, bought it down with like the the cash stuff. Uh, but I think I think that's it, right? Oh, we're gonna feed our boy. We gotta feed our boy. I can't forget to feed feed our boy. Um, why do we have mystery? Oh, because we were in the, the place. Um, where can we get some freaking food to feed our child, our precious little bundle of joy? Um, shops take me to Neopia Central. Just get me some freaking food. Um, you know, it, honestly, it'd probably be cheaper too. And oh yeah, the the this food store is sold out. Like there's other food stores we can go to, but they'll start being like a little expensive. But what we'll do is we'll go to the shop wizard, which is this magical little jub jub guy. I'll type in omelet. I think that's how you spell omelet. And we'll just buy buy some freaking omelets. Like, you know, 99 Neo points. This it's not worth that much, but I just want some I just want, I want a freaking omelet so we can feed our boy. And also Oh, scratch cards. There's also scratch cards on this website. Um, I, that's something I probably shouldn't get too excited about. Um, let's go. Let's go do a scratch card after we feed our boy. So we'll do that, and then we're gonna swap over to the other thing. So I bought bought some omelets so we can feed them because you know the omelets they're 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 three worth the three units of food. Um, so they're they're easy to feed your your guy. Um, you know the omelet you get from the the giant omelet uh, is random and they have a lot of like different flavors and a lot of like you know weird flavors like oh it's marshmallow oh it has jelly on it um you know it, it's it's fun it's a fun website uh when it's not being bad uh, and he's not hungry now um but that's not good enough for our precious little smelly bottom too smelly bottom eat until you're sated completely i won't deal with not hungry no 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 only the finest for my smelly bottom too I have more. Now he's fine. Well, I was trying to, I was hoping I could bloat you with six uses of food, um, but full up we'll have to do for now. Okay, cool. Um, let's go to Terra Mountain. Uh, and where are the scratch cards? I believe they're on top of the mountain. Oh no, the, the scratch cards are in the ice caves. And we didn't go to the ice caves earlier, actually. Um, I wonder if the snow, snow wager, snow, snow wagger? I, I don't know how to say it's name. I wonder if it's sleep. Um, Scratch cards. Don't see scratch cards, so I'll click on the snow wager. Sure, see if it's. Oh, it's awake. So this this guy will be asleep. He's asleep during certain times. When he's asleep, you can try and sneak up and steal stuff from him. Um, and sometimes he'll be wake up and attack you. Shop of mystery, toy repair shop, snow beast sacrifice. I think that's what it says. Don't know what that says. Darbol. There used to be like a hangman thing here. That might be the hangman thing. Terror Mountain Tilt. Where's the frickin'... Excuse my language. But where are the frickin' uh, scratch cards? Like where, where I go to scratch them? Like, there's like a store where you can go and you buy scratch cards. Oh, scratch card kiosk. I should have read. Uh, how much is a scratch card? 600 Neo points. Well, <laughs> I could come over to this guy's shop and get a race to the riches one for 500. No deal, Walkie. No, we'll, we'll buy one. Um, so you can buy them like every few hours, I think. I don't remember. Um, we got a race to the riches, so we might as well have bought the, that cheaper race to the riches. Uh, but like, you know, you can come in here and you buy a, a scratch card and they give you a random one. Um, like this is like a, the basic one. Um, you just want to get, you know, obviously you want to scratch like three of the same thing off. Uh, and then there are like better ones that have better prizes or whatever. Uh, but you know, it's 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 whatever. I just figured we'd show off scratch cards because I played a lot of these as a child, not even thinking like, oh, scratch card, probably not a good thing uh, for, for me to be doing. But you know, whatever. It's fun. Uh, so that's that. So, you know, we have three pets and none of them are painted uh, because, you know, it's our first day. We don't have a lot of money. We, we don't have... Uh, we don't have a lot of money, and uh, painting pets can be very expensive, because, um, you know, 
it's it's what everybody wants. Everybody wants a nice looking pet, so they're like, uh oh, you need to pay me for the stuff. So this is the, my uh, like the account I played on, uh, you know, high school, uh, early college, eight years ago. Um, <laughs> last spot it's stealth because I changed it so you can't see me. So these are all my pets. Um, uh, this is Shupu. I don't remember why I named him that. I think I knew I wanted to make him a turtle. I think that means turtle or something. I don't know something weeby. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, I made him a turtle because I thought that was neat. Uh, Ribbot, I wanted a Nemo because there's robot um, Nemos, uh, and they look very cool. In fact, Nemo, robot. Will that show? Yeah, here we go. Images. Yeah, look at not this. Look, look at that guy. Like even like in the redone art, I, I really like that robot. Like the robot ones, I was always a big fan of um, the way the robots look. And I was trying to do that. Um, robots, a thing that you can only get with a lab ray. There was a special item, but it was tied to a plot uh, that I wasn't involved in. Um, now I've been zapping Ribot with the lab ray, trying to make that happen. Freddie Fishman named uh, named him after my friend's One Piece D20 character, who's like a, a fishman pirate guy. Um, so I, I got a Kiko because they're supposed to be fish of some sort. I'm not sure why I didn't make get like a, a shark or something oh they have Emmett oh. um so I, I think I just picked Kiko because I like Kiko so I have this like Kiko Lake banner from one of the Altador cups um I supported the Kiko Lake people for some reason uh, but I liked Kiko's um so I, I got a Kiko and then I painted him pirate then painted him disco and then I uh, because you know the clothes carry over and the old system if you painted him pirate that's just the way they looked if you repainted them it'd be gone but since they added clothes you could take the clothes off the pirate, and then if you change your color, you could still keep the pirate clothes. So then I painted him disco, and then I put the pirate clothes on him because Freddy Fishman was kind of a, a wacky random character. He was really fun. I, he was a good good D and D character. Oh, hey, they they loop. I didn't realize that. Um, also, I was gonna make I was gonna edit out this character's name because this is just don't look this up, please. Um, asparagus chia. I, th I, th I thought the, the the fruit and vegetable chios were fun. Uh, and I got two um, Rainbow Fairy Quests. Uh, one uh, from the, I believe it happened as part of the the Fairy Ruin um, plot that happened. I believe, I believe I went through that. Like, I think that's what this is for. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think I did part of the Fairy Ruin plot. And then as part of that, I got this, I got a, um, a, a Rainbow Fairy Quest that I painted my show you uh mar aqua and then i got another uh rainbow fairy thing and i painted him uh asparagus just so i was like cool yeah neat um but yeah this is my old account um i had like two million neo points on this when i started earlier but now if i come over here i purchased some items i paint purchased a disco paintbrush and an event tied drake morphing potion uh because i decided i've always really liked drakes so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna get us a drake um First, let's go to my bank. Um, so I dropped, I dropped nearly all my money for it. Uh, we're gonna make a withdrawal. We're gonna withdraw like three hundred thousand. Did I hit? Is that one too many zeros? I'm not sure. No, it's just enough zeros. Uh, we're getting a lot of plug-in blocked. Uh, we're gonna go to the shop wizard. Uh, we're gonna make a big purchase. Um, I probably should have made a big purchase uh, in front of you guys, but I didn't think about that. Which is why we're doing this one, because I picked out what kind of pets I wanted our guys to be. Um, ghost paintbrush. Uh, bef before I started this, I just looked through them all. Um, oh, that's a much better price. When I when I googled this, like right before starting this, people were selling this for like a hundred thousand more. Um, so that's cool, good price. I'll take it. Um, and now we have all the stuff we need to paint our pets on the other thing. But before we go back and paint our pets, let's look at some dailies because dailies are like. I don't know, they're kind of like the big thing, uh, sort of, for, for Neopets, because you can come in like once a day and like do all your things. Uh, so let's just let's just look through this this website, uh, Jelly Neo. I use this a lot to kind of help me play Neopets as a kid to like figure out like all the things. Like I told you how to get a Drake, told you how to get a uh, Croc. I'm actually not sure how to get a Lutari uh, now. Um, you can get them through Create a Pet, a few thousand. Uh, you can get them to elaborate. Okay, so it's just the only way to get them is uh, on Lutari Day. I think they used to be tied to their mobile like thing, like you'd play the mobile game and then you can get Lutari through that. Uh, so these are just things for newbies. So, like you can come in here, you can go to the money tree. The so, money tree's neat. Um, please just link to the money tree. This is an article about the money tree. If I come down, is there another thing for the money tree? Um, 
if I could if I could remember how to use my alphabet, I would know that, but no. So you, know, you come in here and people like donate things to the money tree, so you can be like, oh, here's some money, and I think you can just basically throw away items, and then people can come and pick them up if they want them. Um, so you know, it's neat. Uh, Neo boards, we went over that. Uh, limited and restricted pets. Let's see, is there any that I didn't mention? Oh man, yeah, there there are way more than I. I thought. I didn't realize Tonu Chombies were limited. I didn't realize Cybunnies were limited. Hissies as well. Um, Rookies are limited? Damn, they've they've limited a lot of pets. Kikos are limited? Man, hmm. Yeah, a lot of these guys are, are limited in ways I didn't realize, and they, they bumped Grundo down to limited, even though he was restricted back in the day. Um, you know, these are just special pets that, you know, you have to wait for their day to, to make or, you know, get a morphing potion. Uh, I mean, you can do the same with Restricted. Restricted's just more uh, prestigious, I suppose. Um, rainbow Pool, ram Random Events. Uh, I mentioned these, but there's like random events. So like, it'll pop up on a page like we saw where it was like, random event, you can fight the Dr. Sloth robot, or random event, you can unlock an avatar. Um, but you know, there's a bunch of random events where like, just nothing happens, or maybe you get items or whatever. It's a fun thing for the website. Um, snow, snow Wager. I've always said Snow Wager, but it might be Snow Wagger. Because it's like, you know, a wags because it's a snake. But I, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just look at the dailies. Fuck it. Aboard the coincidence. What's aboard the coincidence? I don't know what this is. Oh, he wants items. So you give him items and then something happened. Oh, that's what aboard the coincidence is. And in fact, if I had sat there and read, it would have told us. I think aboard the coincidence forces random events to happen. Anchor management. Uh... What's anchor management? You come in here, you fire at that thing, and you get uh, you get pieces of stuff. You just get random things. So we got a a piece of a uh, a map. So there are maps. You collect all nine pieces of the map, and it lets you go to a special thing um, that that does a thing. Uh, it it, it uh, varies from it. Oh, is the haunted fair not? Oh, I'm I'm clicking on haunted fair when I should be clicking on apple bobbing tent. Don't remember if the apple bobbing tent's all that good. Um, cause there were some that like, I would like whenever I'd play, it was just like, ah, that one's not worth coming back for. You lean far. Oh, we didn't get anything. Oh man. Yeah. Sometimes you don't win anything. Uh, the bank, the reason the bank's on here is cause you can, you have to come and collect your interest every day. It doesn't automatically collect, collect. You have to come and push the button to collect your interest every day, which sucks. Cause otherwise you could, you know, make an account and come back a uh, later, but now you have to play every day. Braintree has quests for you or, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, the brain trees are weird because you have to do quests for it, and to get the quests, you have to come. Or he wants answers, and then to get his answers, you need to do quests for the esophager, who wants to eat es esophagor, uh, who wants to eat stuff. Oh, man, it's getting late. Uh, brain tree quest, Colton's shrine. This is what I tried to look at earlier. Um, Sparky. Oh no, it lets you know if whenever his dog died, because, um, you know, dogs can own dogs. And this, so we can come to the shrine, you approach the shrine, and then the king, oh, he gave us a two to one coin. You know, it's it's a good thing, you know, you you get random things. Uh, concerts, I mentioned these earlier, where you just come in, you buy a ticket for the concert, and they're scheduled for, you know, different days throughout the, the month. You know, neat. Um, daily puzzle? What's the daily puzzle? Oh, it's telling us the answer to it. Um, so you just... I guess it's just a puzzle you can solve once a day. Um, you know, there's a lot of dailies that aren't terribly good. Like, oh, the deserted old tomb. I think this one has some neat things. I, I would normally do this one. So we open the stone, stone door. And uh, this is another one that takes, you know, a couple clicks, which, you know, now that the website's slow. Oh, no, Shupu got shot. <laughs> I mean, he was already dying, but now his health is lower, too, um, which is bad. Uh... Deadly Dice. Oh, I mentioned this earlier. Count Von Roo. So we can come in here and play uh, against Count Von Roo. He's only awake from 12 a.m. to uh, 1 a.m., which, what time zone? I don't know what time zone is. Oh, it's two hours behind me. So, okay. Uh, Sophager. Deadly Dice. Edna's Quest. I think Edna's a witch. Uh, so yeah, you can come and do quests for her. If you do quests for her, you can get a you can get an, a, an avatar for the, the, the page. Thing, the, the boards that people like. Um, fairy caverns? I don't remember what fairy caverns are. Oh, fairy caverns. I think this is another one where you have to go through a few pages and you know, yeah, we'll go we'll go left. Sure. Um, left again. Left again. 
left all the way. Wow, well, oh, we found we found 2200 Neo points basically. Neat. Um, oh, Fruit Machine. Fruit Machine's great. Just a free slot machine you can play once a day. <laughs> you, you know, it's kind of cheap. You know, it just spins here. It's not like it's a machine. They just have things and you, you get stuff. I think this one has some pretty good prizes you can get. Uh, same thing with the Colton's Shrine. I believe you can get some pretty damn good stuff from it, if I recall. Uh, oh, the giant jelly. That's what I was trying to remember. So uh, there's a there's a secret world called Jelly World. Um, yes, take me to... I want to go to actual Jelly World. So there's Jelly World. And it's funny because you can get to Jelly World, you know, pretty easily on Neopets. It's, it's a secret. Um, but it's like, oh, the jelly's been eaten. No, you know, whenever the jelly's here, you can come in here and you can get free jelly. Uh, jelly World is funny because, like, it exists... And you can get to it, you know, pretty easily. But like the staff like denies its existence. So it's like, oh, what's up with Jelly World? And they're like, what are you talking about? You know, it's, it's just a fun little joke. Uh, you know, it doesn't actually exist. You know, there's fun games you can come in here and play. What's green? I don't know what green jelly is. Previously unexplored world part of Jelly World. I think there was like a some kind of intrigue based with this. I don't I don't remember. Um, it's not important. It's Neo Pets. Grave Danger. I don't know what Grave Danger is. Grave dangers. Play with the. Do we need a pet pet? Oh yeah, I have a pet pet. I'm on this account. Yeah. Uh, oh, you send your pet pet in, and then they like bring something out. Is that what's happening here? And I have I have Tup. Uh, Tup's a slorg, which it's like a you know, it's a slug, but I painted it. Um, I painted it plushy, which made it a sock, which I thought was cute. Uh, I gave Freddie Fishman uh, a ginger, which is just a gingerbread man, but I named him Zippa de Duda, which was my D, D character for the equipment check is this like a game or is this like a oh it's gonna adventure and then it'll bring something back cool um haiku is haiku a daily thing oh it's a the haiku like it generates a new thing does the haiku if i refresh it gives me a thing is that what i'm seeing there does it generate something new every single time or is it once a day yeah, it's once a day so you can avatar is a charity park perk oh, i don't know um yeah you know haiku generator what the hell is this oh we open i actually don't know why this shop's open why did we open the shop did i leave it open one oh you know what i left it i think this is the shop i left open when we bought that um that, that ghost thing that's what that was i couldn't remember why we had that open i was thinking like is that from the omelet but that was on the other account um healing springs uh, let's just let's just open all these motherfuckers. Why not? Let's let's just go for it. Go through all of them. I don't know if we'll have access to all. Of, oops, access to all of them. Um, but this is getting annoying. Clicking back, explaining it. So we might as well just speed this up. Okay, miscellaneous. Uh, there's a lot of things that like, we we can spend money on or whatever uh, in game. So healing springs. You come here and it'll heal your pets or like give you like things to heal them with. Island Mystic. I actually don't know what this is, so we'll click over to it. While it loads. Oh, it gives us just a random luck thing. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, this is like a game where you can throw and it's hard to hit the balloons. Uh, you know, quests where you can bring food to make food and get stuff. The lab right now. This, this is the big pimp and thing. This was the shit. So the lab rays, like, they're expensive items you can... Uh, oh, and they figured out, like, the percentages for, like, possible ray outcomes. Um, so the highest percentage is gaining hit points. Color change is a 9% chance. Species change is 5 um, you, know, you can come in here and you can get exclusive lab ray colors like you, you can get mutant or you know whatever but you can also get mutant through transmogrification potions uh, you know the lab ray is super cool um, in fact let, let's see how much the lab ray costs because I remember it used to be about like 600,000 yeah like there's a bunch of like cheaper like ones and then there's like there's like always been like two oh man this is like well over a million like neopets is like crazy weird inflation because just you know people keep making more and more money and like it, it doesn't go anywhere it's it's weird um i don't I, i'm not even gonna pretend that i understand the the economics of neopets uh, but yeah the, the lab is cool you can come in here you zap your pet once a day uh, and something happens to them and then you can get neat uh colors like um you know robot we saw the lover of doom i told you shoot shinku lunar temple i think you like do a little puzzle where you calculate like the phase of the moon and you get stuff you know whatever um meteor crash site i think you approach the meteor crash site and it just gives you one of these things randomly 
Mysterious Neg Cave. I actually don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like you solve a puzzle and you get a thing. Cool. Um, the Pet Pet Lab Race. So you can do the same thing to your Pet Pet, but I think it also has a chance of destroying your Pet Pet. Quisalin Kus Expella Box. I'm not sure if Quisalin is the way you pronounce that, but this is a, um, a daily thing you can do um, that I hope I can turn the audio off before it starts because I remember. Oh no, we've been sitting in here in silence for a long time. I just realized that. Damn it. Well, it's fine. In editing, I will go back and put music in for you guys so you guys aren't sitting here in silence because I need to do editing anyways uh, to to hide hide my name and also my my um the, the, the other thing I want to hide my yeah name of flash just do it um. In fact, I'm actually just going to go ahead and mute page because I remember this being... No, you know, you guys can hear it. It's very loud. Oh, I guess it's not loud now. I guess my audio was just set up pretty high before. So as you can see, we're in the NC mall. It's because you have a chance of winning NC, which is Neo Cash. Um, scratch cards, we looked at them. Snow Wager, like I said, you come in here to sleep. It's asleep. You can potentially get a thing from it. You know, neat. Um, soup Kitchen, we went over it. Uh, oh, the stock market. You can come, you buy stocks, and you know they change over time, whatever. Mysterious symbol hole. I think you get a pet pet, and you throw it in the thing. You can win a thing. Snow fairy quests. She'll ask you to do a thing. The discarded magical blue Grundo plushie of prosperity. So I think this is just like, you know, it's just a sad, it's just a sad Grundo plushie. And you walk up to it, and you talk to it, and uh, sometimes you get things for talking to it. You know, it's, just, it's hidden in fairyland, and you get things for coming and talking to it it's it's fun it's cute uh tiki tac tombola it's just you know it's you spend the you spend the ball on the thing and it tells you what prize you win um man i'm really upset that i've been sitting here in silence this whole time what an idiot <laughs> i paused it oh tombola's closed oh that's fine you know it's, it's not a big deal you know you just win a random thing uh i think this one you pay some money you pick a uh you grab a, a point and then you win a thing it's like bad battleship uh, Trudy surprise. Um, I actually accidentally do this without thinking uh, once a day. It's just a little slot machine you can do Oh, I think we did that on the other account. It's fine. Uh, Termaculus uh, This big guy you come here and you try to wake him up with your pet pet if he wakes up He'll eat your pet pet. Um, but they can also bring stuff back and you get an avatar for getting your pet pet eaten uh, World Trude's toy chest. I actually don't know what this is. Oh The f the they don't have the domain anymore. Cool. Um, that's fine. Um yeah, that's oh, we almost skipped out on ye old fishing vortex. So the fishing vortex is fun. Um, you come in here and you like fish and your pet gets better at fishing every time you play. Um, and you can like get fish and things from fishing them up and it's it's cool. And yeah, you if you fish up the Titanic giant squid, you get an avatar. Um, alien vending machine. This is a vending machine. You can buy these like these tokens and you can throw them in there. And it's based on the Alien Asia, which Alien Asia, I'll just go ahead and Google it. I said at the beginning, I thought Asias are neat, uh, but Alien Asia, they're, they have like a special alien color that only they have. I mean, I always liked it a lot, but it's hard to get. I think you can only get it through the library. You know, there's a lot to Neopets. I shouldn't go over all of these things. I don't even know what most of these are, to be honest. Um, the Kadotery, oh, Kadote, Kadote, I think that's what the, they, they call these things, CAD. Um, so you come in here and they're like, they're pet pets that are supposed to be like cats and they want items that are like expensive uh, and you come in here and you feed them and I think you get stuff for doing it. You know, there's, there's a lot to Neopets. Um, it's not all good. <laughs> it's not all bad though, you know, I, I enjoyed it as, as a wee lad. Uh, it gave me something fun to do online before I figured out, you know, the real fun stuff on the internet like, like Game Facts and the YouTube, the, the thing that ruined my life. Um, but you know, it's, it's fun, it's cute. Um, let's, let's go back to Neopets. Because, you know, before we end this uh, this long video off, which I've been recording for like two hours and I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> it's very late for me. You know, we, we gotta paint some pets, baby. Um, how do we transfer items? I'm not actually sure how to transfer items. Did not think that part through. Because I think you can only transfer to your, your Neo friends. So I might need to... Um, might need to like go and friend myself. A gift to Neo friend. Okay, so I'm gonna. Alright, I'm gonna go add myself as a Neo friend, and then we'll we'll figure this out. Okay, so we're back. Um, I gifted myself all of those items. Um, we're going to go paint our pets, and then I actually realized 
Uh, one thing I wanted to do uh, before we end off this video, because I'm not entirely sure um, if we can do it. Like we can see here ourselves, we're on a, we're, oh, it's our Neo friend Zapsy. Wow, what a cool guy uh, who just sent us like 2 million Neo points worth of items. So we can come in here and we can start painting our pets. So I, um, when I initially started doing this, um, my plan was to uh, paint, um, let's, let's, let's open up another thing so we can see our pets, um, customize new pets. So my plan, my plan here was to um, close, uh, can I see, I can't see all of them at the same time. How do you see all your pets at the same time? It used to be like a thing where it was like, you could like, where you select your Neo pet and stuff. Control panel, is it control panel? Like, so where you can see all your guys at once, no? Hmm? There we go, this is what I was looking for. Um, yeah, the quick reference, excuse me. So my initial plan was to paint Kachik, uh, Cheeky Slamp, uh, paint, paint him Disco, paint the, the Grundo Ghost, and yeah, no, we're still gonna do it, whatever. I was thinking like, oh, well, I actually like the, the Kachik Ghost. Um, but no, the Kachik Disco is very cute. So Cheeky, Cheeky Slamp, or, oh yeah, I, and I forget, we can't do this here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just, you know what, Smelly Bottom? You're the last one here, but you, you're the first one who can you can morph. So, uh, Smelly uh, Bottom currently is a sure you, but we're going to allow sh uh, Smelly Bottom to drink this Event Tide Drake morphing potion, um, which changed him into an Event Tide Drake. And I don't think we ever took a good hard look at Drake, but we'll look at him more in a moment. Um, and I picked uh, I picked Event Tide just because I thought it looked neat. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, why not? You know, we'll go ahead and do that one. It's funny how cheap uh, making drakes has gotten. Uh, Cause I bought that for like 600, 500,000 Neo points. And I remember back in the day, it was like a million uh, to like 2 million Neo points to like get a drake. And it was always like very difficult. And I wanted it so bad. We'll paint Gundy Buldu, Gundy Buldu, his ghost, woo. Um, and we're gonna go back and cheeky slamp you're gonna be disco because i think the disco one's pretty cute it's get, it gets the big glasses and i think the disco designs it's fun you know just came came here you know created some created some cool pets uh if they ever load we can hit play not that it matters it's not like they have any animated things in the background uh but you know you got some neat looking pets like event tide like you know it's like a like a sunrise looking thing it's cool you know got some neat looking pets uh, i bet i I've, I've probably caught the eye of some like of like the staff like hey wait this guy just get, like spent like two million neo points and gave it all to this guy who made an account and just has nice pets now uh this was probably weird um but you know we have nice pets and this is kind of like the, the the goal of the game ultimate goal of the game for me it was always like get nice pets make your neo uh your neo page look nice you know have fun with friends something else i said earlier in the video probably you know it's whatever but there's one last thing and i don't know if they've done away with the feature for it but there used to be guilds where you you can make like a guild um guild hq guild home can you still make guilds because like you can make guild yeah cool uh you can make guilds and like you could hang out with other people and you could become friends there and you could put middies on your guild page you could talk about anime I just wanted to see if guilds are still here. So that's Neopets. It's not aged all that well. Um, you know, but it was fun. I enjoyed it back in the day. I wasted a lot of hours on it. Um, and, you know, it's probably the last time I'll come back to Neopets, but it still made me waste two more hours of my time on it um, just to have fun so we could come in here and, you know, have a good time with our friends Cheeky Slamp, Gundy Buldu, and Smelly Bottom too, who is now a very fancy pet that, uh, you know, maybe one day uh, you know, someone will like come back and be like, what's up with the, uh, what happened, what happened to Smelly Bottom too? Um, and then find out that Smelly Bottom too is now a very fancy Drake thing. And you know, let's go back to our other account because I don't think we ever stopped to appreciate my, my other, oh no, we did, we did stop to uh, appreciate our other pets. I forgot, I, I had forgotten. Um, I was thinking about my first Neopets account, which we're not going to look at because I'm too embarrassed to go back. Um, so that's it. That's Neopets. We had fun together. Um, Cheeky Slamp, Gundy Buldu, and uh, Smelly Bottom are... You know what? No, I was like, oh, we'll back out now. Um, and, and, you know, 
leave it at that. But you know what? We're gonna we're going to go to we're gonna go to the pound, and we're gonna drop off Smelly Bottom uh, and Gundy Bulldo. Um, not because I hate them, um, but you know they're we've just created very nice pets, and I don't want to hoard them on our our thing. Um, so we might as well just let them go. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna keep Cheeky Slamp. Cheeky Slamp is gonna stay with us because um, a you have to keep a pet on you, and b um, I just, I like Cheeky Slamp, you know, Cheeky Slamp's fun, and maybe I'll go abandon some of my other pets, um, so, you know, other, oh, we can't, oh, you can only leave one pet in the pound every day, um, so I'm not gonna remember to come back, so, um, at least someone, uh, can have Smelly Bottom, too, uh, because, you know, I just created a really nice pet, basically, um, so that's it, that's Neopets, goodbye, I'm logging out forever, no more Neopets, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Goodbye.